All right. Good evening. Howdy. Hello. Um, that audio is kind of loud, isn't it? Sorry, I'm trying something. Oh, there's a coconut in the background, isn't there? Trying something a little bit different today, uh, as I normally do not stream from my PC itself. Normally, I'm streaming through a console of some sort. So today, uh, the game is only available on Steam right now, though. So we will be streaming from the PC itself. So if I see out of sorts, I'm like, what's a keyboard? How does this work? Why is that cat yelling at me? Um, that's because I'm getting used to some of the settings that's going on here. So uh, Pocky, I see you are in. And you'll be back after you're done hanging out with driving your mom home. I got it. You owe her a few favors after, you know, she did birth you and raise you. Oh my goodness, Goya wants attention already. Alright, so let me get him up here. We already have a coconut up here too, so. Um, good afternoon, Beachy. Or good Friday. Happy Friday, as the kids say. Um... But yeah, as I was explaining, so tonight is a little bit different compared to normal because I'll be streaming from Steam itself on my computer, which I don't use my computer a lot for gaming. So I'm getting my bearings, and um, from a stream standpoint, it's a little bit different. Uh, the kids definitely don't say that, but I'd like to pretend they do so I can be hit for four minutes. Um, but the game itself is, as you can hear right now, it's wonderful, pretty music, but... Uh, is Arcadian Atlas. It is a strategy RPG that is only available on Steam at the moment. My cats may or not have abandoned me, I'm not sure. So since it's currently only available on Steam, that is my option to play it. So it did just release yesterday. It is an indie strategy, or sorry, tactics RPG? There you go. A tactics RPG, uh, much in the line of Tactics Ogre, Final Fantasy Tactics, Hell, even more recently, Mario vs. Rabbids, um, or XCOM. More in the vein of those games, but uh, it was a brother-sister studio, uh, Twin Otter Studios, uh, that had kickstarted a couple years ago. Um, something that I backed because I thought it looked fantastic. It looks like, you know, it reminded me of Final Fantasy Tactics. I apologize, I'm going to make that comparison a lot, but uh, I love that game, and so that caught my attention with this. I know, Goya. Um... So it's something I want to check out for years, and I think about a year ago I had an alpha or demo build that they were showcasing at different cons, I believe, um, but that got sent out to the backers. So I did a stream of that, and it was a really good time. What shocked me about it, I'm curious if it sticks through with the main game, is how quick the battles were. Normally in these strategy or tactics RPGs, they usually run, I don't know, um, closer to like half an hour per battle, if not a little bit more. But these were 10 minutes tops. Like, I think the three or four battles that are in there ran me, like, I think the longest one that I went when I was figuring everything out was 12 minutes. So, uh, it is very much a nerd game. Um, not the cool games like the cool kids play. Which I don't even know what the Madden, Call of Duty. I don't even know what the cool kids are playing. The Pokemons. But, either way, so it is... I have not booted it up yet. It did just release yesterday... I think it works on Steam Deck, and so that might be where I end up playing it afterwards. Um, but for tonight's purposes, obviously, that doesn't do you a lot of good. So thought I'd stream it. Um, we can give it a good go and see how it is. And the other thing that's going to be kind of outside the norm for me is that normally I'm playing with a controller. And this does have controller support, but I didn't want to mess with connecting a controller to my PC because I haven't done that in a while. So I'm just going to go about it with mouse and keyboard, and we'll see how that fares. So here are here is the game, but we'll go ahead and we'll dig in. The way I start off every game, I don't know, is I pop into options see what I got going on. So, uh, And by all means, since this is a brand new game, I'll probably be going a little bit slower than normal, as I kind of figure it out. And if you got any questions, if anyone has any questions, feel free to just ask for me to dig into things. That way we can learn together. Press J to learn for more information. For what? So difficulty setting, relaxed, standard, harder, story. Wow, story is below relaxed. That's legit like, yo, I just want to read this. Tack announcement, edge panning on world map. All right, I'm not messing with any of those. Video, I'm sure resolution's fine. Windows, no thank you. 
Yeah, all the volumes will live with that. Music, sound effects, ambient. Gamepad, not messing with that. Mouse, keyboard. Control, help, icon type, keyboard and mouse. Sure. I'm not going to remember these key bindings. Hopefully they will pop up on screen as needed. The CWASD is in there. Tab for camera zoom. That might be useful. Switch units. Help turn order info is going to be J. Menu I. And K and L cancel. Okay. I won't remember those, but it's fun to know uh, they exist. Atlas card subtitles. Screen flash. Screen shake. And controller rumble. Well, my mouse does not shake, but thank you. Alright, well, let's see what this nerd game brings us. And you can see we made it uh, lower left corner. So, like I said, Twin Otter Studios, brother, sister um, combo that we're a fan of, you know, tactics games growing up and kind of want to just do uh, do right by it. The games that they love and make their own. Serenity Forge is a publisher that picked them up late into the game. Like I said, it was Kickstarter uh, driven to begin with. And then they developed from there, and then they worked on it for a couple years. Then at some point, I think maybe in 2021, uh, they hooked up with a publisher finally. So uh, that way they can put uh, the bow on it. And I believe this will be coming to other consoles as well. But, you know, Steam or PC is usually first. Loving the music was kind of hoping for you to speedrun Bloodborne. Uh, you want me to speedrun Bloodborne to this music specifically? <laughs> uh, speedrun Bloodborne, you're insane. I did speedrun Bloodborne, and it was all of 40 hours for me. Thank you very much. Dun, 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 dun. I keep on checking to make sure the screen's feeding through fine. It looks like it's fine. Alright, what do we got? Did I break it already? I am pretty bad at things. No, I did not break it. Cool. Uh, welcome to Arcadia. A land that never forgets. I am going to turn the music up, though. Because it got real low on me. Oh no, it's still doing things, isn't it? Built by forces more ancient and unsearchable than its soil... Ashens of Forgotten Wars are said to still live in the water, beating against its unforgiving shores. These people fought for peace. Uh oh. And after many years, uh, when sorry, after many years, it came when uh, the Dantalian throne and Tropus finally crushed Sarah forces in the eastern land of Volan. Uh oh. Uh oh. We have we have conquest and angry cats. But peace is such a tenuous thing. Doom. No, she don't look good. Beloved king is now on his deathbed. The Goya is quite, quite upset. New wife hungers for his place as queen absolute. The king's only remaining children have been declared illegitimate. Well, that's never fun. The younger barely old enough to wed. The elder unwilling to serve any man. One shall seek a life stolen from her. Boo! I don't think he's shuffling cards, is he? Um, awakening things so dark she cannot hope to contain them. Oof. <laughs> Good for her. <laughs> oh, just wait till you see what she does. The other seeks a crown deprived her. That's right, not only will she not serve any man, she started her own fucking army. Uh, setting fire to the kingdom she hopes to win as her own. Yeah, so uh, the Elder is not taking shit, except she is now taking everyone's shit. I'm caught in the midst of flames, our heroes. 
John Paul and Paul John. Two lovers brought to... That's not actually John Paul and Paul John. Uh, two lovers brought together by war, refined in peace, and threatened against their country uh, as their country tears itself apart. Goya, you are quite distracting, sir. But can love survive when nothing is as it seems and alliances crack against the fires? I mean, I hear that couples that kill together stay together, so... Drawing swords together is always a good start. Because whenever there's a murder, I mean, you gotta think, who's got your back? Who's gonna help you hide the body? This is Arcadia, born from the ashes. Tropis Vullen. If you look hard enough, you can see the flames rise new on the land that never forgets. This is the story of its burning. Oh my. See, they garden the way I garden. Just burn it all. It's fantastic. And look, the lands are fine. There's kingdoms on top of it, and I bet it's going to be a lush green environment as soon as we load in. Because that's how you do things. You burn it all, and then eventually, the things that can thrive will thrive. Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> uh, Beachy, I do not know why I am this way. It just, it is what it is. Lahore Forest. Milady, the enemy draws near. It's nearly time. Yes, thank you, Yuri. Lucretia. Etta, the time is nearly here. Take this. Oh, that's a shiv. They will not take me, my lady. I assure you this. Please, Etta, if they do, you know what will happen to you. Neither of you have to do this, you know. We can find others. Yeah, the art's nice. I dig it a lot. The the pixel art is fantastic. We serve the cause with our honor, my lady. We will serve the cause with honor. There will be 100, maybe two in three camps. Stand your ground, even if Wolf or Elon... Elon? Oh, God. Should, sh should lead the charge. No matter what should happen, stand your ground. It will be done. Thank you. Though I can give you nothing else, I give you both my thanks. We will see you all again soon. Till the rightful rule, milady. Vashti, that's one of the heroes. Till the rightful rule. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ha. Ah, sooner than you think. So Lucretia is the elder. And Etta, please look after her. The sweet thing is still green. So, from what I remember of the development, um, the art was done by the sister in the dev team, uh, Becca. It's Becca and Taylor. So, Becca was uh, handled the art of the game. Um, I, I don't know all the responsibilities of where everything broke down and what was collaborated on, but I remember her being at the head of the art. And the musician was someone that they, um, that they commissioned, so uh, not related to the two. They didn't do that. They did the, the programming and the art and the building and the story and all that. So, uh, Which is probably why we barely started the game. There's probably already been more female representation in this than there was in all of Final Fantasy Tactics. So, see, she's right. There must be some things I can teach you before the fight. We will take a tutorial. Excellent. Then at the start of every battle, there's the troop placement phase. It's where you choose to start positions for your troops. Ah, they're little blue tiles, where you can place units you want in the battle. You can place any troops on these tiles based on the number of remaining units deployable. So five out of nine. The number of currently deployed troops will be on the the, uh, the right at the top, and maximum deployable troops below that. Depending on the size of the battlefield and the conditions of the fight, this number may be higher or lower. The status bar above me shows the current unit placeable. Uh, you can cycle through these units to see basic stats and classes for each of your troops. While you, uh, you'll only be able to move yourself around for this fight, later battles give you more freedom in the troop placement phase. Now we can talk about battles, starting with moving and acting in fights. 
Once the battle has begun, you see this directional menu, which is the central command menu for units. You'll notice four icons, the one on the left, the shoe stands for movement. Intuitive. Uh, let's see, this allows units to get around the battlefield. Selecting this will display blue tiles uh, within their move range, hitting except uh, on a tile will move to it. Sword and rod icon represents actions. We'll display a list of actions that they can use. This is the list of actions available. A normal attack with the equipped main hand weapon will usually be the first option. And then Goy is on the screen for the other one. Uh, you can learn new skills and see what they do later when you gain access to the skill tree. Can <laughs> Goya, you're killing me, bud. Uh, and the troop management menu. You'll notice each skill displays the required skill points to cast and use it. Once those SP are depleted, you'll have to use an alternate skill. Do I regain skill points? Action and movement will be the most often used icons in the menu, but the other two are so important. Inspect, it will display a list of details about the current unit, equipment, skills, and stats. Uh, you can also view the inspection panel of other units and enemies by navigating the cursor to them, hitting accept. And then last we have the wait defend option. When you're finished with your turn, select this to designate where your units face. Try to face towards enemies to sustain a penalty to evasion when enemies attack your flank or back. Oh, and if you've used both movement and your action for that turn, wait defend will be chosen automatically for that move. That covers the basics, but uh, take some time to get familiar with the radio menu and battle flow during this fight. Alright, so that is the gist of, if you have not played a tactics game, that is the um, probably the crux of all of it. And then after that, it's just going to be getting a bunch of sweet-ass skills to utilize. The enemy! Ready yourselves! I just like to imagine all women have a, a dark voice like I do. Or a deep voice, not a dark. Can a voice be dark? I mean, the screen went dark, but okay. So we are in the unit placement. So now I can just grab my people and... I guess I can just move the one. Make her fly. Ah, there we go. Whee! That's kind of fun. Um, I've never played one of these on PC, so I'm always used to it being on a D-pad, so it's kind of fun to have direct control over this. Alright. So put you there, face you forward. And once I'm done, commence fight is just the I key. Yes. I'm learning battle win conditions defeat all enemies. Alright, so we got a ranger on our team. Some wicked jazz going on. Battle jazz, is that a new genre of music? Music to slay to. There you go. Oh, shit. Okay. Apothecary. So I have control of these two for this battle. I'll move you. Well, let's get in there. Let's cause some damage, actually. Let's see, so dousing flask, a highly compressed flask of water that explodes on impact, delivering 55% damage and inflicting wet status. Ew. Damage based on magic attack. Flashbang containing luminescent materials explode on impact, delivering 7% damage, 50% chance to inflict blind. Damage based on magic attack, reviving, revives unit, support flask, heals a small amount of HP, and increases defense and magic defense by two. And volatile special concoction and materials that deals 110 magic attack damage can be modified with additional status elements. Uh, let me drop this just a smidge. Alright, um, I feel like going big. I'm going to go with the Volatile Flask. Oh, it's only one cell, so... 
So L takes me back. I didn't realize that is just going to hit one. I want to go with Flashbang then. Bunch of damage and it hits a three tile range. So I can drop this here and it will hit both of them. <laughs> ah, you died. Alright, we will wait. We will face that way. No, no, Brandy! Oh, Reyna arrowed me. I can't wait till I get full control over my party. Body Rush, Rend Armor, Sword Bash, Adrenaline st Strike. Alright, so you do not have any buffs. And you are outside of the range, so... I will guess I will just wait for your turn, Vashti. Dante. <laughs> now I'm just thinking of Battle Jazz. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like to stab with jazz? It's a subgenre we all didn't know uh, we needed. Sounds like Cowboy Bebop song with that chill trumpet in the background. <laughs> Uh, I definitely know what you're talking about now. It is like a, we're coasting, we're coasting by with our ship as, um, we cruise into the sunset along the frickin' riverside. Just vibing. Alright, so I'm gonna get you back here, and we're gonna go big bomb. Action, we will do Volatile Flask. So where is... Before I do this, where is my SP at? So I guess if I look down here, it shows me everyone's health? Yeah, it's their health. Well, where's my SP? I guess I gotta... Actually hit it in spec, so 28 out of 32. Got plenty of SP. Uh, volatile flask. Let's big bada boom. <laughs> uh, I walloped you in the back of the head with an explosive bottle. Nope, no good. And see, this is what I was talking about, and I know this is early on, but this is kind of what I was talking about, about, like, battles go relatively quick. Like, things, enemies so far, seem like it's, like, two, maybe three hits and we're done. Um, which is nice, because in other strategy RPGs, I feel like there's a lot more placement and, I don't know. It just does not seem as snappy. Hey, Goya. And mission complete. Successful. Cool. So, and this, like I said, this did just drop on Steam yesterday. I got my key yesterday as well, so I didn't get any time ahead of the game to figure it out or whatever. So, we're just running with, with what is, and hopefully we can figure it out. Uh, worst case scenario, I'm sure I can run till 10 o'clock learning a whole lot, and I'm good with that. Dun. Oh. That, that's the guy they said to hold the ground regardless. Oh, it's the wolf. It's not even wolf. The the wolf. Vashti and Edda. Ooh, we're friends? See, Lucretia sends you to run her fool's errand then. Oh, shit. Vashti's fucked. Oh, that animation's kind of... Cool. Like her eyes being bugged out. Um, it's a level of detail I'm not used to the strategy games. 
Or pixel art specifically. Oh, it's truly a shame. I warned Desmond this would end with you dead, but I'm glad he wasn't here to see you like this. A mangy dog lying destitute in the dirt. Don't worry, I'll put you down quickly. I owe him that at least. Oh yeah, what a kindness. What? Gods be damned? You're not Vashti. You're even more disgraceful than, than that traitor. A disgusting cur scrounging about for scraps from her master's table. Oh, Jesus Christ. The only dog I see is you, Wolf. Tame to eat from Venezia's outstretched hand and carry out her every whim. Sorry, Etta. Oof. At least we're still wild. Yep, shit's on fire. The forest. It's on fire. Yes, they're gardening my way. <laughs> Sorry. What? Lucretia, you cunning little fox. Fall back, everyone. Fall back to the camp. Times have changed for your so-called queen, haven't they? Lucretia burning a forest and her people just to save her own skin. You know nothing of Lucretia, unless of us, you bastard. Believe me, Etta, I know plenty of you. We both have our little secrets, don't we? A shame yours die here. Ah! <laughs> oh, that was fantastic music sent off there. Was not a good job, Goya. That's cool. I already got characters that I love and hate. Can't go wrong with that. Lahore Ruins. Hi. Go ahead, just pawed me. Like, hey, bro. Desmond? And Vashti. Aw, he brought her flowers. How sad they're wilting. Never mind. She's not as impressed. A bit symbolic, isn't it? I wish it weren't, does. Wow. Uh, and when exactly were you planning to tell me she'd burn the whole forest before or after I went through it? It's meticulously planned, controlled to the tiniest detail. I knew you'd be fine, or I'd never have allowed it. And Etta, did you count on her being fine? What, Etta? Something happened to her? Wolf happened to her. His whole regiment fell on that forest. That monster, he better not have laid a finger on her. He didn't, he laid a sword into her throat. Uh, is he the monster or the woman you fight for, sending Etta into that forest knowing full well it's burning around her? I don't fight for Lucretia any more than I fight for your, uh, than you fight for Wolf, or fighting for ideas does. And we better be damn sure that their ideas worth fighting for. Our friends are falling on their swords for ideas. Ooh, dark times. Dot 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 dot. Yeah, you let her die. It's all on you. How did we get here? I didn't want any of this. You know that. Mm, you did, Vosh. We both did. The moment we chose sides, we asked for this. Then why did you call me here? <laughs> Those flowers were poisoned. Enjoy the deep whiff. I wanted to see you again. To tell you we march on Lucretia's outpost in Rodham Hills tomorrow. Doesn't matter, we abandoned Rodham weeks ago, but something tells me you knew that already. Go east, Vosh. Leave this war and go east. <laughs> Deep whiff. 
<laughs> Sorry, the phrasing was awful. Um, uh, I can't. You know that does. It's the last time we can meet like this. Lucretia is becoming suspicious. And Des, about Etta, I hope you were wrong, but if not, I'm sorry. Sorry I won't make these ruins a city again, Vash. Uh, but for what it's worth, I hope I'm wrong too. Oh shit, we got stakes in the game. Please just stay alive, no matter what it takes, stay alive. Ooh, I get to save my game. I will save it to the empty slot number one. Dantalian, playtime 23 minutes. Uh, and I can't see what those words are underneath it. Let me save here. Uh, level three, unit six, okay. I'm just saving left and right, huh? And it looks like right click is to cancel, and that was new to me. So, happy, happy, happy. Dun, 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 dun. Chapter Uno. I don't know how long this game might be. I mean, tactics games usually go about 40 hours, so. Uh, could be a little bit of a run, but I do not plan on playing this all the way through to completion on stream. This will be something that um, today and Monday I'll play. Uh, kind of as filler for the month, but then afterwards I will be moving into Chulip on PlayStation 2. But with this being newly released, me wanting to play it and having finished Bloodborne, it kind of worked out perfectly. So, two years earlier, Dantalian Throne Room. Oh, look, we're all friends here. Apothecary. Oh, I've done what I can, your majesty, but the fever has worsened. None of, your, the, none of the poultices are strong enough. Deep whiffs were not enough. Uh, but he can recover. Queen Venezia. He might with rust. Don't spare her because it's her husband. Will he recover? No, he has two weeks, three at most. Use every poultice, every herb, I don't care what it takes. Do everything you can. Do you understand me? Shall be done, your majesty. Uh, about Annalise. Lucretia... Find the apothecary. We need proof. Bottle of poison. Powdered addle rot. Anything. What should we do, my lady? Pull them off. I need time. But if we can prove she's killing him, the kingdom will be set right. Waltzing into the viper's nest. Not the smartest move, Lucretia. And so poorly disguised. Your father would be disappointed. It's my kingdom, bro. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Uh, my father and your king, lest you forget, would be proud, you fool. When I prove this pretender on, my throne has been poisoning him. We'll see who's in the viper's nest. Take up arms, quickly! That shit's getting real already. It's full of betrayal. It's always over a fucking kingdom. Like, y'all can't just, like, share. Like, you can take that half, I'll take this half. Ooh, we are fighting in the kingdom. Or inside, um... The hall. Well, I don't like not being able to see who I'm going up against. Alright, so I'm usually a sucker for putting in the people that... I know, first and foremost. So I'm going to drop in people. Desmond, Vashti, where's Etta? Even though I know you die eventually. 
Shock and Edda. And then who else do we got? Alright, so we've got this Shaman, uh, sorry, a Warmancer, Path of the Flame, Ranger, who is Bow Mastery, Cavalier, One Handed, and an Apothecary Field Medic. In theory, I should bring someone to heal, but I feel like it's early enough to where I can get by trying other stuff, and I don't know what a Warmancer is, but I like the idea of it. Some shamanist looking dude. Let's see what the shaman's got. Oh, I get five. Okay. So I'll do that, and then I feel like I've already got two barbarians up front, so let me... Where is that ranger? We'll bring Nev in. And you can hang out between uh, the lovers. Alright, so now that I have everyone selected, I to commence fight. Yes. Defeat all enemies. Ooh, I start with the Bowmaster. Right into the battle jazz. I don't know how far bows shoot. Not as far as I wanted. Ooh, and you cannot do your moves. That's cool. Um, some strategy RPGs or tactics RPGs. Sorry, I need to stop. Their tactics, but um, sometimes they don't let you reverse uh, your movement if you've already done it, like you're committed to it. So, shoot a rain of arrows in a three tile radius, dealing 50% damage to all caught. Yeah, we'll do an arrow rain. Ooh, that's a big splash. So that was good. So at this point, I guess you wait. You bitch. Time to see what this warm answer's about. Let's make some fire. Oh, nice. Yeah, fire. So 100% chance to hit for 28 damage. So, a quarter of his health. Singed, bro. Respect the pelt. Yes, get in there, Etta. Get your pre uh, preemptive revenge before you're dead. Oh, shit, you throw stuff. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, a little bit closer than I probably should be. It's okay, life's all about regret. Boo. No splashing the heels on people. Alright, so you are a one-handed cavalier. Let us see. You can't do anything yet, Vashti. Come on. Alright, go there and wait. You're a two-hander, and you... Can't make it anywhere useful either. Son of a bitch. Alright. Nope, not what I want to get out of here. Alright. So, let this... Move you to somewhere not awful. Actually, I want to take out that healer. Frost. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, never mind. I'm only playing this Monday and today. So I was like, shit, I probably can come up with some really good emojis for this game. Or uh, whatever those are. Emotes. Take care of that fucking healer. No, not Frank. Or Santiago. My bad. Bro, I will Santiago flame you so hard. You really want to do that? That's really, really a move you want with your 26 HP when I'm going to do 28 damage. Weathersby. Sorry, Weathersby. To quote the hit musical Chicago, though, you had it coming. 
Let's move you back here. And how far can I throw my big boom? Oh, I've got healing flask too. But I like to make things die, so I'd rather do that. Um, let me hit the healer for 23. Marcus! I love that in this fantasy... Uh, RPG setting, I'm I'm basically just throwing Molotov cocktails at people. It's an oldie but goldie. You know, playing with a mouse actually kind of works really nice. Um, because I can just keep petting Goya and he doesn't uh, continue to be Goya. So that's kind of nice. Alright, so Vashti, we can get you in here and we can actually do attack. 29 damage. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, wait, you're the healer. Yeah, alright. Slice. On your knees, knave. Oh, that's right. Desmond's rolling all up on the healer. Rend arm. Sword bash. Smash sword into the ground, dealing 55% earth element damage to a unit and nine tile scores in front of the cavalier. Fails against flying enemies. Oh! Good to know there's going to be flying enemies eventually. And armor... Does that do any damage? Um... Attack using enemies' defense against them. Hitting a target for 100% attack damage. Plus 150% bonus damage against high defense units. Sure. Ooh, hit you for 23. Sorry, healer. He's down. I do enjoy the battle gems, though, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like there should be a compilation album of music to, you know, to get down and to make go down. That's probably not working the way I intended, either. Why can't I click on you? Nope. There we go. Alright, Bowmaster, let us move you. So it looks like I'll do more damage with the basic attack for 32. Not on my guy, on Angeline. Nice. Got a critical hit. I miss these games. I haven't played something like this in quite some time. Alright, so you are a war answer. You like to make flames. We will burn this world to the ground. 26 HP. So far, it does not seem like there's counterattacks. So that's kind of nice for this early on, but I'm curious if there will be. Alright, so you will action, you will do a restoring flask, and I need you to heal my war mancer. So this is 32 damage. I assume that means heal. Yeah! Okay, cool. Let's see what we got going on. Ah. Desmond, no! I'll defend you! Quick attack. Attack twice. 55 per. Hunker down. Protect all cavalier. Uh, plus 20 evade. Nope. Alright, so I hear 2 times 55, so let's do some damage. This one will go face to face with Eileen. What was her name? Angeline. Close enough. Uh. On your knees. Uh. No, Santiago. I believe in you. Um, who's the Santiago's next? I'll let him avenge his own. Damage. I'm going to move the archer back here. Uh, I will arrow thrust. 
Oh, they can shoot way the fuck up here. Archer's got some skills. Let me get them. Um, so aside from the fact that this has dropped on Steam now as of yesterday, uh, they did also put out the soundtrack on vinyl. Or, I should say, pre-orders are out on vinyl, or up for vinyl. One of those keywords here. Vinyl pre-order available. Yes, there you go. Um, but I think it's not due until January or February. I did jump on it, um, ahead of the game because I have heard the music in it, and... I don't have anything quite like this in my sound in my library, so kind of excited for that. That's one of the things whenever I'm looking at my vinyl collection is trying to figure out what, like, not buying too much of the same sound. Yeah. Uh, War So I got five thousand AE. I don't know what that money symbol is going to be called. We'll just say 5,000 gold for now. And I got worn armor. ba -ching! But I haven't played a game like this in years. It's been forever since I managed to be able to play... Um, I think I, I picked up Final Fantasy Tactics on iPad, but I've never played it. Like, I had intent. Oh, I had intent. That's the last of them. So I'm excited to kind of be able to dig into this. And like I said, I'm also really excited to be able to play it on Steam Deck. So that should be cool. See, don't you have oodles of battle jazz? <laughs> what kind of collector am I? That's a very good question. In fact, Goya and Coconut judge me regularly for not having more battle jazz. Um... I have, uh, shit brain is not working. The heat is just getting to me. I was like, I have a quick booty response that involves swing music, but I, I don't. I, I really don't. Jazz or blues. Battle blues would make sense. Battle blues or fight jazz? Ooh, that could be interesting too. Hang on one second. I do want to... Bugging me out, tiny I am. Oh, I made myself more tiny. Um, I messed with the size of things a little bit before the stream to try and make sense of it, but I think I made myself too tiny. A little too rough. Like I said, uh, doing a PC game has really thrown me off for everything. Um, plus, I don't know where the blank space was in this, but this looks like top right might be the right thing. Boss Battle Ska. That could be good with that. Uh, ska Tax. Yeah, I'm going to Ska Tack you. Haha, <laughs> there you go. Alright, see, Queen Venezia. Venezia? So, by the way, this vibe right now that I'm getting from, like, Queen Venezia... Uh, and her killing the king and taking the throne very much is making me want to play or it's reminding me of our uh, Mice and Mystics game it feels very very of a vibe with it uh, because I don't even remember the queen's name from there but I remember it being something else similar to Queen Venezia um, and I, my brain keeps on going there because of that like if it was like Queen Helga I wouldn't but uh, but yeah Queen Venezia uh, Vanessa. I think it's Queen Vanessa in Mice and Mystics. That's what it is. Let's see, proof some putrid slop you extracted from a chamber pot. Don't make me laugh. Laugh all you want, but soon the world will know the truth and you've been poisoning the king. Ha! It's funny on stream, it looks like I'm the one saying that. I'm Lucretia. Lucre Lucretia. Annalise. Sister, you've come for me? Oh, thank the gods. They want to send me away to Leth. Did I just ruin everything? What have you done, Annalise? You're the one who dropped it. Get back. Get back. Get back to where you once. I'm sorry, sister. I'll come for you. 
I'll find a way once I'm queen, but you must be strong. Don't bother following me, wolf. Your guards aren't as loyal as you may think. Are you waiting for what exactly? Follow her. <laughs> yeah, y'all know to go after her. Come on. Still love your traitor with sister, do you? Even after that. So is she a stepmom or is she actual mom? I want her gone. Tomorrow you'll escort Annalise to Karen Monastery and leave her there for till Lucretia is dealt with. Do I make myself plain? Annalise... Won't the king object to his daughter's exile? King Tyrgan is all but dead. Every day she's here, we're harboring an imminent threat to the queen's life. She shall live. That alone is a mercy. Give her safe passage through Am Amblemir. That's a hard one. Amblemir. And let me know when it is finished. Yes, your majesty. You'll need soldiers. Conscript some troops for the trip uh, at the recruitment center. Outfit them with whatever items you see fit. Etta, Desmond, and I shall take care of it. Dun, 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 dun. Good and impress this child with what happened to those. And impress on this child what happens to those who commit treason against the crown. And Wolf, take this to have it tested. If it is indeed poison, I'll have that apothecary worm flayed alive. <laughs> if you insist. That's awesome. She's killing the evidence. Let's see. I can now access the item shop, recruiter, and tavern from the blue nodes on the world map. Recruit and rename units from the recruiter. Equip your units with the latest equipment at the item shop. More at the tavern will unlock later in the story. From the world map, you can also access troop management to learn new skills, change equipment, and more. Tutorials and compendiums are also available with a host of information. Excuse me. Um, to progress the story, go to the closest red node on the world map. Meow. That's right, I hear you, Goya, and I mock you. World map. Main menu and troop management is I. Compendium options, save and load. Wow, that just dropped the music immediately. 44 minutes. Let us exit the screen. Title screen. Let me see what compendium is. So, people, places, events, and then back. So, like the scandal of House Bill Neve. Is this like re watching the cutscenes? Oh no. Okay, so it's like full on text about what's going on. That's cool. War ended seven years ago, largely from the death of Wolong King's Caltrine II, his son Caltrine III. Seeing the toll war is having on his collapsed nation, ended the war under a peace agreement, letting Leth up as an impartial judge between the two nations. That's cool. I like being able to dig in when I want to, and not just being shoved into all of it. Scandal. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so King Tyrigan was not always married to Queen Venetia, and how he came to have his first wife executed and remarry was a scandal for years throughout Tropus. Ah, so he brought this on himself. Oh, Goya, you're killing me, bro. And then we've got all of our major players. So the fact that... Oh, I guess we're doing history, because so like if Edda's in here, I imagine that she's not just done and dead, but maybe she will be when I get to it in the future. So troop management, so I can kind of take a look at everyone. What about, like, skills? So, uh, I guess my face is over, but first option I have available is equipment, then skill, inventory, promote contracts. What are those? 
currently nothing. So equipment, driftwood bow, offhand, let me change. Alright, so I got nothing. So I'm going to have an offhand, main hand, head, body, and an accessory. Skills. Change. Ranger skills. Support skill. Okay, so there will be counterattacks eventually. That's the reaction. Very cool. Skill tree. I have two points that I can spend. So bow mastery, so I can get rapid succession. Takes two quick shots at the same target, going 55% with each hit. Fleet footed. Increase evasion by five each time the ranger is hit with a single target skill up to 50. And then high ground allows faster traversal of vertical surfaces, vastly increase to jump. Huh, that's cool. So I can actually train that right now. Or I can master and crossbow, and there's a few skills there. Or general skills like Eagle Eye, Ignore 5 Evasion. Oh, that's interesting. Silencing shot, deal damage, a 30% chance and inflict silence. Arrows, dousing, ice, fire, noxious. So there's a whole slew of things I can goof off with. That's cool. Um, I will take high ground right now, though. Because previously in other games that has been a huge thing is like being able to climb on top of roofs and stuff. So like, what's the Warmancer do for skills? Let's go to his skill tree. Path of the Flame. Intense study of fire element increases fire damage by 105% and resistance by 20. Becomes one with the flame, rendering them immune to burns. Increases critical damage by 5% from living too long amongst the flames. Fiery Rage. Fireball. And then eventually Flame Wall. Create a wall of flame across your tiles to healing 50% elemental fire damage. Howdy, Miss Lissa. Good evening. Howdy and hello. You are deep in tears, but I don't know why. If you're upset because you don't have first, it has been an hour, so... I'm just going to say it is kind of a long stream to uh, pop in the middle and then... Um, be upset that first isn't yours. But, anyways. Path of Flame, Ice, and Lightning. Energy shield, hit with a single magic skill, absorption shield. So, you know what? It is going on the hour mark now that uh, I have just said that. So, just re-upping for everyone to be aware. So, tonight I am streaming a brand new game, Arcadian Atlas. It came out on Steam yesterday. Um, it's something that I backed a lifetime ago. Probably about, I don't know, I think six years, seven years. Um, brother, sister, team called Twin Otter Studios. Have been working on it primarily uh, for years. Just recently, maybe 2021, recent comparatively, uh, jumped on board with Serenity Forge to publish it. So now is the debut of the game, and I am very stoked to finally play it. So I get it, we're all busy. Some of us are just busy playing video games. That's very hard life, though. But uh, it is a strategy... Fuck, I keep saying that. It, maybe it's strategy. I don't know. Whatever. It is a tactics RPG, much in the vein of Tactics Ogre, Final Fantasy Tactics, XCOM, which is one of the more popular ones recently, or Mario vs. Rabbids, Disgaea, all of those. So, But it does uh, bear a heavy resemblance to Final Fantasy Tactics. So I don't know what I want to train him on yet. Flame Wall sounds like fun. We'll do that. Oh! It only... Next level will cost one. Sorry, I was looking at the SP cost, and I thought that was the cost to train it. So then I can just keep leveling this up. So next level we'll do... 7% fire, 20% chance and inflict burning. Sure. I like firewalls and setting walls of people on fire. Let's do it. Boshti, let's go to your skill tree. You have two skills, so quick attack. So if I level up, instead it will do 65% per, so 130 damage. 
130%. Don't care for the shield triage yet. Low sweep, hit all units in a five tile cross in front of the cavalier, inflicting 45% damage against all units. Uh, stun status, that sounds fun, but I don't know if she has a shield. Increases HP or increases speed. Uh, speed is a 9, so that's like adding 10% to her speed. Well, hopefully your busy night has been a fruitful night, Miss Lissa. Hopefully it's not just all nonsense garbage that you were stuck dealing with. High jump increases jump distance cavalier plus one. Practice the art of quick reflexes and armor increase evasion plus three, which I don't see evasion listed anywhere. So I'm not entirely sure what that number is up to. So I think... Oh, bum, 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 bum. I'm not going to go with jump yet. I will go with low sweep because it sounds nice to be able to hit multiple enemies at once. And then that will bump it up to 55%. Alright, so that's done. And this does end up being a huge piece of strategy tactics games. It is the actual management of your troops. Um, it was the ranger. She was the one who I had a skill to change. There you go. Ooh, a six jump. Yeah, that's going to be some ups. Alright, so Desmond, so I got three more to do, and then we will continue on with our adventure. Skill tree, skill tree, everybody loves a kill tree. See, adrenaline strike, furious attack, dealing 120% damage, ignoring some evasion, reducing own defense by 35%. Oh, so berserk. See, a body rush, deliver a powerful swing with a whole body up to two tiles away, dealing 80% damage with 6% chance to inflict stun. That sounds kind of dope. I like that. I'm going to do that twice. So that will make it three tiles instead of two. Same chance it's done. Okay. Now that I've got the flow of it and that I've chilled with some nice easy jazz, we're off to a good, good pace. Increases move by one. Which I definitely want to do because... Oh wait, Apothecary was throwing shit, never mind. So Volatile, single skill. Poison powder to Volatile Flask, inflicting noxious status. That sounds pretty cool, actually. I'd like to get some poison on there. And that's the case, let me... Oh, let me see. Flashbang, or what? Heal for a small amount. Wait, so support flask heals a very small amount and increases defense or restoring. Heal small amount of HP. So it's just no buff, okay. When hit with a single target skill, regen says. Yes. So I will do Healing Mist, because that will give me the ability to heal multiple squares at a time. Sure, that sounds good. And we'll go into this last one for Cavalier, so it's Skill Tree. Hi, Goya. Goya, you're blocking all the screen right now, buddy. Oh no, 
go ahead and you broke the camera. <laughs> Why would you do that? There you go. Guilty. Guilty, guilty. Ah. <sighs> Come on back, dude. You you were in a good chill position. I know you're not hungry. It's not eight o'clock yet. So at eight o'clock, uh, I will take a very small five minute break to feed my cats. Um, but other than that, we will continue playing as is. So, Cavalier, let me get back into action on this. So Twinkle Toes, Evasion, High Jump, Defensive Stance, a Mobilizing Focus. Cavalier's five percent chance to inflict limp status. Preventing use of weapon skills. Those are kind of cool. So right now you got low sweep at a 45%. I think I'm actually going to do... This limp status? Oh, I can do it twice for 10%. Okay, I'll try that. I'm a big fan of big go big or go home, so I'd rather completely dive into something. Alright, let me save all those changes. Alright, so we are now at an hour. And we will continue on. So, story mission is the only mission I have. I have nowhere else I can go, so what do we got? Battle and cutscene. Our heroes encounter something and someone unexpected. Let's encounter! <laughs> Our heroes, Desmond and Vashti. Lovers turned to enemies, sworn to death. Not quite yet, we know they survived for at least two years. As well as Ada. Ooh. Getting fancy with the spices on the music. Uh, we should really go around, shouldn't we? Isn't Amblemir further south? This is apparently a faster route. It's not on the map, though. Oh, God, he's one of those. Come on, Desmond. And, well, it's kind of creepy. Huh, I sort of like it. The map is pretty useless, to be fair. The roads are all pre-war. I just don't really... Maybe if I had a Scooby snack. Oh, uh, well now, fellas, isn't this the best place to be slinging spells around? Can't we agree to put away our ice shards for just a second and talk this through? Ah, our roguish hero. Fennec. Whoops. I hope that potion wasn't important. Hey, it's the guy who was dealing cards earlier. Ah, hello there. <laughs> Need more ice shards. Uh, well, we definitely need some ice shards in real life to cool down this hell, that literal hell we're living in right now. Uh, how the hell did that scam artist weasel out of here? See, you're here just in time. Some dangerous mages have shackled, shacked up in there. Escaped from Leth, most likely. These blood magic on me, and spirit magic, and um, some gurgling gut magic just tossed in for kicks. I love it with you, they're vicious, but you're clearly capable of handling them without me. Really, I'd be in the way. In fact, I'll just go. Ah, Jesus. Vashti, are you crazy? Get away from that stuff. Raccoon! <laughs> I don't know what that liquid does, but we may have a raccoon-sized problem on our hands. I told you we shouldn't have come this way. <laughs> raccoon with a knife. 
Looks like he's fighting on our side, so let's not bicker about it. Gather the troops and weapons at the ready. Yes. Raccoon with a knife. As it should be. I was wondering about that. I mean, since very, very early in the Kickstarter campaign, they had uh, Poncho, I think is his name. Uh, but they've had that raccoon with a knife, and he's like the only animal creature. I was like, so how does this dude become this dude? Yes, I'm going to start with you and send you high into the mountains. Alright, let's see who else I've got. I really wish I could see where other people were being placed. So her evade is a lot more than his. So send her, and it feels weird not to send them both right, right now. So we've got two more. Who do we want to see? Field medic. I probably should bring the field medic. Um, we'll put you... Yeah, you might not be able to make that jump. I don't know if that's one or two. I'll put the field medic here. Here. Alright, and then I've got one more to bring into battle. So I've got ranged, I have two melee attackers, so I probably should get magic, so I'm thinking the warmancer. Yeah. We'll, we'll bring Santiago. He likes, he knows firewall now, so I would like to create walls of fire and then put people inside of them. Let's fight with I. Continue. Defeat. Oh, hi, Goya. What'd I do? Defeat all enemies. Oh, shit, they're up here, too. Sorry, I go just getting pets at the moment. Here's your good buddy. Are you good? This is what I have to deal with. So this is the real battle. I was dealing with this cat who's pawing my arm, demanding the loves. It can't always be about you, Goya. Sometimes I have to play the games. Uh, off phone now and back. The game characters remind me of Breath of Fire 3. Um, yeah, I could definitely see that. That's taking me way back, because that was PlayStation 1, I think? That was a good time, though. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get you higher. Can you take me higher? She looks like another archer. But yeah, earlier I didn't know um, you stepped away, but hopefully um, your busy day has been a worthwhile busy day and not just shit oh shit everything is always, 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 always happening. Wow, so that just hurt. Yeah, I am... Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to equip something on him. Got stuff done. Good. Getting stuff done is the best. Whoa, you got some ups. Did not know you rolled like that. Post office is closed now, so I had to find a different one. Trains everywhere in Michigan. <laughs> uh, wish me luck on that my switch is returned or fixed in a few weeks. Yeah, for... In theory, mine would have been pretty quick when my switch light broke. It was probably all of... If everything worked correctly, I would have had it back within two weeks. And that was the same thing for... I did have a 3DS that broke pretty early on, too. 
um, that bricked itself. So that was, uh, I think that one was probably two weeks too, which in the grand scheme of things is not that long. Ooh, firewall. I get to put both of you fuckers in there. Yes. Target unit. After the skills is charged, the skill will cast as if it's centered on the target, potentially extending its range or tiles. I think it's an instant cast, isn't it? I'll we'll try tiles. Oh shit, no, there's a charge time on it. I was unaware. Low sweep. See, just connect. Oh, yeah. Two switches work with the dock. Makes every other dock flash as well. Continue to drop it. No, you're, like, super careful with your stuff, aren't you? Like, if I remember, like, you... Like, you're, um... What is that thing called? The Steam Deck you've got a case for and stuff, too. Yeah, I mean, like all electronics, there's a small chance of it just being shit out the box. Um, specifically, I think it's what, like 3% fail rate of all electronics is expected or acceptable. Boo. Boo. Yay! Fire every- oh shit, the tiles are on fire now. I do not accept this failure. <laughs> well, you, you have sent it back to its origin to be unbirthed and then rebirthed. Three tile, 50% damage. Okay, so where's like the timer on these skills? Three SP. Doesn't say how long. Actually, hang on. I think I'm going to move my camera for this game one more time. to see where we block the least amount of stuff, so. Oof, I made myself not good. Yes, real-time edits. This is going on. Anyways, whatever. Good enough. Right game? Right game? Maybe? There we go, okay. Fail rate three sixties. What do you mean, like ninety five percent? Oh, Great Lakes Medieval Fair tomorrow. So let me see where these arrows can hit. If I drop this here, I'll hit both of them. I wonder if I could just basic arrow and hit. Can I kill this guy? Yes, I can. Alright, I'm just gonna do that. Done! Didn't have my weekend booked. You kids and making plans on the weekend. I'll never understand. God, I wish people would invite me to go to Renaissance Fairs, festivals. I mean, I'd totally go. Enjoy some giant chicken legs. Or emu, as they're more commonly known. Target units. I don't- oh, I didn't even think about the heat. Yeah, that's got to be rough. Can I not move? Do I? Yeah, damn it. Limp. Unable to move for two turns. Slow speed minus Jesus. Alright, well I guess I'm going to restore and flask myself. 
meet your first fans before you do. <laughs> uh, a little bit of salt tonight. It's a little high sodium. Uh, attack twice for 55. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. And yeah, I can finish them all. Do that. Oh, it will not melt. Legs will be out. Don't burn. Yeah, fire is just how I understand the world. It happens. Nothing but burning all the time. Body rush, stun status. Let's see if I can get this going on. Yes, burn. Stun? I like this ranger, uh, Nave. Nave? I don't know, whoever she is, she's good at just sitting up here and just picking off people. Ugh. Shit, I didn't disable the death one. Um, well, in theory, it's not actually turned on right now. Uh, in theory. Because this game is not necessarily a channel point game. Um, this is uh, more of an exploring and learning and just kind of seeing what's going on with the game. So, we're just going to say no. We are not going to allow that tonight. And by that, I mean I did just try to disable it while I was talking. So, hopefully that actually worked. And it is no longer redeemable. So, don't waste your points. We are GTG. I have denied you any joy in this world. <laughs> Lava. Hot! <laughs> oh, good evening, Vera. Everybody hydrate. Cheers. Uh... Brought to you by Cowboy Bebop, so Jet and Spike currently. Wow, when you both redeemed hydration, so everyone's trying to kill me. If you can't kill me in game, you'll kill me in real life, so double hydration. I didn't. Oh, actually. Actually. I do have my reserve in the fridge. So cheers, we will actually, actually, double hydrate then. <coughs> Bad idea though. <coughs> it's right into the lungs. It's a good place for it to be. <sighs> um, <laughs> special bell peppers and beef. What would you do with a brain <laughs> if you had one? Oh, beachy. <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. Uh, that is a fantastic meme. By the way, I just got back and I was looking for, where's my controller? Where did I put my controller? Forgetting that I'm using this fancy schmancy mouse and keyboard. <sighs> Great, now you guys got the medic here to check on me because I'm choking from too much water. I hope you're happy. All right, you good, bud? You don't have to check on me or the camera? All right, good. Let's not get him meowing. He's good like this. See, laying down, he's happy in this horrible heat that we got going on. But once again, playing on computer with the mouse has its perks, so now I can be over here with Goya and still playing the game some. Alright, let's get our burb on. Alright, so what am I doing? So I'm my war mancer. King of all fire, except he's out of SP, so he's not firing. Can I hit someone? Yes, let me hit this person that is burning. So currently he has 3 SP. I'm not sure if it regains between... Ooh! He's an angry war mancer. Oh, bollocks. Leave my archer alone. What is that star? That can't be good.
does not tell me what that is. Alright, well, let's get back to Vashti. Let's move her over here. And we are going to attack. How come I don't have the fucking raccoon with me? I call shenanigans. I want my stabby raccoon with me. We will do a basic attack. We will... Oh, he's got one hit left. One hit point. Garbage. You, sir, are trash. Yeah, we'll jump you up here. He's got some big ups. Matisse? My poor, poor apothecary who's nearly dead. Can he move? Yes, he can move now. All right. Before I move, is there anyone else that needs health more? 50. Four. Nope. Gonna be you, buddy. So let us go ahead and restore flask yourself. What a klutz. Like, this dude's just been sitting out here healing himself repeatedly because no one else is taking damage. What a, what a selfish little prick. Alright. No, he's fine. He's taking hits so no one else has to, I guess. Get my archer down here. Let them fall into a burning ring of fire. Don't they know Canada is burning right now? God, it's so insensitive. Okay, so... Santiago's SP did not recover between turns, so I guess the skill points you come in with is all that you get, so make it count. And don't waste skills. Yay! Alright, mission complete. Um, War Spoils, whatever that currency is, I've not seen anyone say it yet. That's AE, like Aether. But 5,200 gold, a weathered helm, and a linen robe. Take a long burb. You burb as long as you need to burb. I think he said 10. Oh, yes, I'm streaming until 10 tonight. Thank you, Vichy. I missed that. Words were on screen. But I was just very excited about surviving. Yes, I will be running until at least 10 tonight, as well as Monday. So explain what happened here before you end up like the others who attacked us. It's Fennec de Rom you want. He brought us here to find something powerful, but then we were trapped. Horrible traps everywhere. Uh, my sweet Gunther, his face. He must have touched the wire for a moment. We were tricked. There's something awful in that place. Some kind of terrible magic. You see, I told you. Ten. Wow, we know where. Yeah, I, I, I will be up much later than you. I promise, uh, Melissa. Miss, Miss Melissa. Sorry. I can learn to read. I swear. Uh, told us. Told us what exactly? Listen, Vash. This place reeks of forbidden magic. Something horrible is going to happen if we don't leave now. Uh, you told us that. I don't remember you telling us that. He didn't. He's just a coward. Uh, what are you doing? Are you crazy? You can't touch that. It's, it's a fucking piece of paper, bro. Put it down, you hear me? Wow, bro, you are not impressing me. Breathe for a second, Des. It's just a playing card. Oh, I... Okay, so I'm not crazy. It was cards he was playing with. <laughs> One day I will not learn to read, but I appreciate the vote of confidence there. It just says, The Fool does. The Fool? So, wrong place, wrong time with this one, huh? Can you walk? I think so. Then go home and don't ever say the word magic again. Your, your mother wouldn't want her daughter spending a lifetime exiled and left. Let's 
just a stabby raccoon. Well, are you coming or not? He licks something magical dust. I thought we weren't supposed to meddle with that sort of thing. He never asked to become this. Besides, he's cute and seems like a competent ranger. I'd rather have him on our side than someone else's. Well, look at you. So progressive. I knew you had a heart in there somewhere. Poncho joins the party. Yay! We got a bandit friend. Dances with raccoons. Recruit Poncho. Trophy unlocked. Show me your moves. Falcon Punch! New items in the item shop, compendium entries in the compendium, and chatter in the tavern. You hear that? Just like D&D. &D, chatter in the tavern. Uh, check these regularly after battles to see what's new, and the story progresses to uh, and ensure your units are in fighting shape. Also, feel free to experiment with any combination of units in battle. Each unit participating gains a level and one CP for skills at the end of the fight. Special characters like Vashti, Desmond, Edda, and Poncho will auto-level with your party throughout the story. Oh! Well, that's fantastic. I wish I knew that beforehand. It almost feels like I shouldn't be using them then. Because they'll just level up anyways. Alright. But... <laughs> But be sure to experiment. So I've got blue dot, yellow dot. I've got a lot of money. So, because I have problems and trust issues in life, uh, especially with video games, I'm going to save after battle. Alright, so compendium doesn't say anything about... No, it doesn't. So Poncho is a crossbow master. Interesting. Skills, skill tree. Ice arrow. So he is a cross. Wow. Brokem's real skilled. Alright, so crossbow training increases attack plus two while using crossbow. Ranger aims powerful crossbow bolt at target's feet, dealing 90% damage with 50% chance of wood. Or vital shots with increased critical chance of 50%, temporarily lower speed. Shrapnel shot. Oh, 7% damage, one tile square, we're seeing 40% splash damage. I like that. Increases critical chance uh, each time they're hit. Dig into the earth, reducing movement by one in order to gain plus three attack. That is kind of fun. Silencing shot, fire arrow, ice arrow, dousing arrow. Eagle eye, nimble, okay. I'm not going to mess with the skills yet. I'll hold on to those. But let me go into her stuff, though. So did she get another skill point? She did. I will be sure to experiment. Adrenaline, dig in. Movement minus one, but game plus three attack. I might do that. So, else does she have silencing shot, noxious arrow, fire, ice, dousing? I don't know. So, that's for spell casting. That could be useful. Oh, fuck it, I'll do it. Oh, it costs two to buy. Damn it. Oh, let's see, so this will just give me an extra two for attack. Oh, why not? Let's just get better stats. Make the numbers go up. Let's go to skills with my fancy Santiago Warbancer. You think he eats dinner with that hat on? Is that a fancy dinner hat? Alright, so firewall I've got. Increased fire damage by 105%. 
think I'm gonna go with that. So my firewall does more. I wonder if it means up by 5%, so now it's at 105%. Because if it just doubled my fire damage, it's pretty dope, but that sounds a little too powerful. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. So we're quick attack, or I did shield. No, 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 no. Attack plus two. Yes, we want you hidden shit harder. Yes, I should probably get you up there too. Let's make death better, y'all. So, why did I not... Oh, Mati. Oh, why did I... That's weird. I thought I trained this. I wonder what happened. The healing splash damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that again. I would like to be able to heal for good. Revives for the small... Yeah, I feel like having a res would probably be a useful skill, so... Guess what, um... Matisse, you are permanently in the party. And Esmer, you did not come with. I apologize, but you're probably not going to be someone I give about, because you are one of two Cavaliers. One of three Cavaliers, actually. Alright, so let us see. So how do I get to... They mention if I go to... Maybe if I go to Dantlion that I can... Go to... There we go. The tavern. Time to get some brews. Show me your moves and the brews. Don't be shy. Come on in. Chatter. Ooh. Hear a lot as a tavern master. I've got loose lips. <laughs> okay. Former Queen Patricia. Poor woman. I feel she wasn't going to fair shake as queen after her youngest died. Uh, they said she poisoned him out of malice. King Tyrigan and her never really got along, I suppose, or so they say. He always loved his children more, especially that Lucretia. I guess I can't blame him. She's easy on the eyes and strong-spirited. But to have Patricia executed, if you ask me, he did it just to marry that Venetia woman. Nobler blood in that one. The illegitimate sisters. Uh, Lucretia and Annalise Bill Belneve is a sad one. Hi, Goya. Uh, two girls often would be heard playing on the dance line courtyard, but that was years ago. Oh. Clicked on the wrong space. So that was years ago. After marrying the king, Queen Venezia wasted no time in declaring both girls illegitimate. And around that time, the rumors began swirling that King Tyrgen was ill. Between you and I, the timing seemed a little too convenient. Dance lions rise. The city wasn't much more for Tyrgen's war, but Volan, the iron and spices of Bolti's mountains, made it what it is today. As the tide of war started turning uh, to Tyrgen's side, influx of trade brought many to the capital looking for work and riches. Some found it, and the others, well, you'd likely find them drinking themselves to death. And... We got a couple things going on here. With monsters in the middle. Saw a raccoon do what now? I've never heard of such a thing. But these wild times with dangerous people and creatures roaming amok east of here at the cesspool of Wolan, I can I can't feign surprise. Certainly there's talk of people rising from the dead. Jesus. Ugh, Goya. I can't see through you, bro. I appreciate you trying to be your do your best door wall uh, impression, but no, bro. All right, what was I saying? Um, their bones held together by some dark ritual and beasts scouring the dark recesses of the world, but I've never seen it. All right, so just a little bit of world flair. What are contracts? I've already accepted all the available contracts. Okay. So that is it for the tavern. Dun, 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 dun. 
How do I get... There we go. So, item shop. So, let's spend some money. What the fuck is that? That is a lizard with a hat and a bow tie. Interesting. Okay. So, outfitter. So, ah, nice. I like the way this is laid out. A bearded dragon, thank you. I am unfamiliar with a uh, lizard life. Well, it is a bearded dragon with a fancy hat and bow tie. So that is a new birch bow. Nothing for the head, body. I can get a linen tunic. Accessories. So I can get move up or jump up or power ring, which is more attack. I will get move up for the ranger. I will purchase all of this. 1560 and you have been equipped. Take my money. Timely. Alright, Warm Answer, what do you got? Wood rod to a U rod. So it makes my magic tank up by two, so it's not a ton. But I can at least get some armor for him. Power rings not gonna do him any good. Yeah, so I'll go with them. I don't know how wooden shoes are gonna make me move faster. Or farther, but so be it. So I don't think it shows up on... No, part of the Steam overlay pops up my trophies, but there's a, an achievement that says take my money. Uh, I'm assuming a reference to Futurama. Uh, and I've spent some money, but it wants me to spend a lot more money. Alright, so we don't need that. Head. Half plate, which gives me more HP. Armor. I just... What? Oh, no. I'm already wearing that armor. That's a weird quirk. So we get that to go further. Now, let's hit harder, because we got a sword. So my take my money is at, they want me to spend 250,000. I'm at 4,000, so I got a minute. Bone sword, great sword. Half plate. Yep, same armor. And this dude. Who will go with work walking farther? Go down to Matisse. Matisse, you're my new best friend since you can heal and resurrect. So we'll give you a fat hammer. With a pound for some more HP and speed. Oh, I guess you can't see those stats there underneath my image, aren't they? Oh, uh, so this makes my defense and magic defense go up. And you don't need strength. We'll go with wooden shoes once again, so you can go further. Maybe higher would be better for the cleric. That way they can just hide. Yeah, we'll go with light boots. That way I can go higher. I will do punch. Balance crossbow is already the best bow. Raccoon will not wear armor. Here, but he can wear a tunic. And we will get you a power ring so you hit harder. You stabby little raccoon. Bearded dragon. What a weird shopkeep. And then if you wanted to use the stuff. Uh, traditional buy and sell method. You have that option. Okay. Thank you, Bearded Dragon. What was the last thing here? It was what? Recruiter? I don't know. Like, we already got plenty of people. Oh, I can rename in here, too. Wait, command points. Fresh batch of able bodied conscripts. Oh, I can respect people. I'm good on that. Rename anyone I want. Neve uh, becomes pew pew. Pew pew shooter. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, but that could be, if I were to play this, that could be a fun redemption in the future. Just name the characters. So recruit. 
Ranger, Apothecary, Ranger, Cavalier, Ranger, Cavalier. Yeah, I'm good on all those. I don't want to hire anyone. Can I rename the main characters? I can. I'm gonna go Buck Wild. So I can name him Weiner if I really want to. Interesting, okay. Oh, the characters are more RO now that I've had time to think of very similar. What is RO? Ragnarok Online? If that is, if you're calling out Ragnarok Online, that is a very, very specific and uh, unique deep cut call out, I guess. I'm not used to people knowing what Ragnarok Online is. <laughs> let's go Prontra. Alright, so next room that we got going on. Room. Sorry, I guess they're not rooms, they're locations, but in my head they're rooms. Prawn? Um, alright, so uh trying to avoid the prawn discussions, um, because that's gonna confuse a lot of people. So, da, 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 event info, battle and cutscene. See, booking Annalise passage to left doesn't quite, doesn't go quite as smoothly as hoped. Uh oh. Yeah, it's short for Prontera. Mm hmm. I understand that. God, Ragnarok Online, that is taking me back. That's. Jesus, I think 2007? I don't even know. That's been a lifetime. What did that do? Year I graduated high school. Ugh. All you kids. It says me, the elder, 2002. Of graduating high school, not the year I was born. Cheers. Yeah, the animation style caught my attention with that game. So I, was, I had been spending a lot of time playing stuff like EverQuest, which is just like hyper realistic, or even World of Warcraft, where it's it's built more on like three D models and oohs and ahs. So be able to go back to something sprite based was pretty fun. See, Annalise, please don't try and run at the stage. Karen Monastery is a beautiful and quiet place. You'll have your freedoms most can only wish for. That's my father's old crest, the sword and the crown. Ah, it's this dude again. The mage here? Fennec, you mistake me for someone else, I tell you. Lucretian Cavalier. Oh, please, Fennec. You think I've tracked you all this way without knowing who you were? Lucretia can protect you. She's not afraid of magic like that old crow on the throne. She'll change things for you and I. We'll be free to go outside of the bounds of the elementals. Again, your offer is very kind, but it would be far kinder for this actual Fennec. He seems to be a pleasant chap. And if our paths ever cross, I'll be sure to give him your regards. Seems you've mistaken this for an offer. Better to consider it forced conscription onto the Lucretian military. Oh, what sweet providence. I'm afraid my friends from Dantaline have arrived. And if local graffiti paints an accurate portrait with Annalise Belneve in tow. The king's daughter? Get Annalise out of here, quickly! Well, if it ain't our lucky day. Uh-oh. Soon we'll have two gifts for our rightful ruler. Make quick work of the rest. Da 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 da
bum, 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 bum. That's kind of how the music goes, but you know you were here for it too. I'm curious how this plays on Steam Deck too, though. Like I'm, sh I think I saw that it should support it, but I haven't seen anyone talk about it. But I mean, it's all like D-pad and stuff like that, and I don't. This isn't, you know, 3D taxing. And if the Steam Deck can run stuff like Cyberpunk, just fine. I imagine that this would be fine. All right, all right, all right. So who are we dropping? I'm dropping the lovers because, of course. How do you have the game and not play the main characters? I need to bring in my raccoon now, which he is a bowman. So I wonder if that will replace Nev, Eve. Oh, I will definitely bring my warm answer because who does not love fire? Plus, dude hits pretty fucking hard too. Um, bring my healer, but let me. No, you're not my healer. You're my healer. Matisse. That was a lovely Matisse. And then I will bring my other ranger? Yeah, sure. One is a bow specialist. Actually, I think I'll drop the bow specialist over here. wonder if I can get them onto that house. Maybe it's too high. Oh, this is actually a really big freaking map. I forgot tab lets me zoom in and out of the map. It's interesting being that far away, though. Uh, let me move Poncho over here. So we've got six of six. Let's do this. Let's do this. Defeat all enemies. Jedediah! Alright, so let's see. Let's move you over. And let us try and kill immediately. Because I am greedy. I will throw you directly into battle. Plus, I really want to see if you can jump on top of that house. How is the movement of a raccoon? Oh, range is just shy. Can I move him a little bit more or no? Yes, I can. Cool. Guess what's not shy anymore? It's me with arrows. Pinning shot, 50% chance to cause the limp. And if I can make this guy not move, that'd be fantastic. Oh, I didn't even notice. Okay, so down on the bottom, it shows my turn order. So when I cast, like, long effects, like discharge shot or spells actually shows me where it's going to fall in the category thing so I can see this guy would move right before I do it so I might not pin him but whatever like sorry he might move towards me before I can actually pin him ah oh, fuck bowman, apothecary, corrosives Warm answer. Let us move you this way, because this seems like where trouble's coming from. Oh, you're going to be a pro Okay, cool, you came down. It's like, fuck, that person's going to be a problem. Um, I'll let the medic chill. That's a wider range. Short bash is a little bit longer too. Titular stuns out of sight. So I think I might be able to hit that person. Yes, okay. Come on, stun. Fuck, he's gonna take too long. She's gonna go before I do. Anyways. I am getting bold. I am moving people all over the place. That 
let's see, action, so... Wow, I'm surprised that it's gonna let me hit them up there. I mean, I guess it's me just, like, fighting up or whatever, but... It's interesting, Mr. I didn't know that you were an MMO addict. MMOs are dangerous games. Ragnarok Online. Oh, bite me. Alright, so they are done, they are done. Punch. Punch, you did not do what you were supposed to. So let's try a noxious shot. Fuck. Punch, that is not what we needed, bro. Ah, shit. Now we got a ranger. Nope. Cool. Out of range, though. Action. Fireball. So we can hit them immediately for 37. That should kill them. Yes. Murder has occurred. Yeah, Santiago is kind of the go-to right now. Whether melee or magic, Santiago is wrecking shit. Alright, who is taking damage? I forget already. Uh, Ranger Mune has Vashti. Um, if I move here, can I hit them with the healing mist? Yes. Actually, I can hit all of them. That's pretty dope. Really good range on them. Nice. Make it rain. Healing rain. Oof. Good good call. I was worried about that. Oh, she might need to get her ass uh, a little closer to heal this. So I can wait. Oof, yeah, Vashti, you were you were hurting, girl. Fifty-five. It's too far away. That's enough to kill him. Good. Now we are going to move you closer to the heels. Hopefully outside their range. Oh, my raccoon? You dick. Alright, let's see. Break out some arrow ring. Alright, can I move you so I'm not getting blasted? Yes. Cool. Sorry, Jedediah, you had it coming. What's the OMGs for? What did I do? Them attacking my raccoon? I know, isn't that scandalous? It's questionable. That is not the battle jazz I was expecting. 38, so what's the basic attack? 54. It's not gonna kill him. If I could pin him down, that would help. That was a weird noise for that bubble effect. Yeah, raccoons are good good people. I like raccoons. I mostly blame Guardians of the Galaxy for that uh, realization, but still. Alright, uh, ads will be running now, so if you're not subbed, I apologize. I'll see you on the other side. Alright, so let's see. I've got Flame Wall for 8 SP. Do, do, do. No, I'm not going to be able to hit two of them, so I guess I'll just do a fireball. 31 damage. 
I can't hit the ranger up there? Uh, that, that thing is sleeping. So I don't want to say its name because it's right there. And if I say its name, uh, but it is not talking right now. So we're going to let it slumber gently and enjoy our game. Thank you for the attempted screams, though. Alright. So you're an apothecary. You're going to cause more damage than the ranger. And that's going to be famous on swords. So. Uh, I will cast the fireball on you. Alright, who needs heals? He needs a heal. She definitely needs a heal. Raccoon, Jesus Christ. Everyone's getting chewed up this round. This game. Um, Alright, so let's see. Des is in better shape than those two. So I will have to do a heal. Here you go. Yay! Are we? <laughs> uh, thank you for being nice. Your patronage is appreciated. I don't know if that's the correct way to go about it, but... Damn it, not dead. But he is unable to move, so that helps. Oof. Alright, Dez is not looking good. But fortune favors the bold, so let's get in there and chop some fuckers up. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, it's not that much. 100 damage, 90 damage. I've got to, I'm gonna just go until I take this apothecary down. I can't move. I guess we'll wait. Right, so you are in better order, lady. So let's see. And I don't know if I want to cluster. That was my only concern. Shield triage. Yes. We are all defensively strong. And we'll wait. You can't move. Alright, good. What can you do for your range? You can hit nothing. So, let's see if we can move you somewhere where you can hit something. This arrow, good. Can I kill... 43? Yes, I can. No, not my people. There we go. Yes! Dead. Alright, so I should just be able to do a basic attack and kill this guy. 94% chance. Whoa, he's got to charge up? For a normal attack? That's a bummer, I didn't know that. Alright. Let's get you up here. How much does your basic attack do? 42, that's enough to kill me, I'll do that. Good, good, good. Yeah, the music... It's kind of uh, rad as hell. I'm really enjoying it. And it is radically different compared to what most people would expect from this type of game. So, I mean, that is, you know, blessing and a curse where it's just completely unique. But I'm all for it. Alright, what is, actually, what is he at? Oh, he'll be fine. He can take a hit. 
So I do this here, it looks like I'll get everyone. Nope, not there, here. Man, look at all those heals. Matisse, you're coming into every battle. <laughs> Beachy and Miss Lissa are in here sharing a brain. It's all good. Everyone's vibing together. It's a good time. And I thank the jazz. The battle jazz. Sorry. I should have clarified. Alright, so you are unable to get anywhere. So you just hang out there. So I don't know what happens when the bodies reach zero. I'm very curious about that. In some games, they'll actually turn into items to pick up. In some uh, tactics games. I don't know if that's the case in this or not. Because if that is, that incentivizes me to just kind of pull it out for a little while and just wait. Like, just let time go. <laughs> Beachy is slightly psychic. Look, we're all appreciation, uh, appreciation, appreciating the revelations tonight. And that revelation being, is there a way to, to turn? No, that's just really hard to see where we're at. There probably is, hold on, let me see. Options, what are controls? Switch unit, movement. Menu, nav, camera zoom. Nope, so I just got tab for camera zoom. Okay. Thirty nine. Cannot evade my warm answer. Let's see, you're good. You're kind of good. You need a little bit more. Can't heal. Do I have... I have enough for one more potion, so I'll actually just wait on that. No, they just disappear. Alright, corpses do not produce loot. In that case, you fuckers have no reason to survive. I will kill you all. Especially my angry raccoon. Now here's the thing, do crossbow bolts go through people, or am I about to hit my own teammate? If I hit you, Matisse, I apologize, but this is all on the good, good experimentation. Ooh, or they move. Okay, so that's an even better question. So, is my crossbow not going to be able to hit them then? I'm going to run this one out so I can see. If that is the case or not. Alright, so a tease will go, and then it'll be my turn. I should say I should get my answer then. Yeah, that's a screen boy. Why are we cutting the screen? Oh, you want food after this battle club? You will be fed when I decide you're ready to be fed. Ah, fuck. Okay, so healing magic does heal the enemies as well. Ooh, crossbow tracks. Even if they move away. Nice. Hi, Goya. Can I help you? Alright. Congratulations. War has been victorious. I think I got a cutscene, Goya, and then we'll get you some wet food, okay, bud? I know it's about 45 minutes past your normal second dinner, but I appreciate your patience. Oh, oh weird. Gave me an error message, but then it kept going, so okay. I don't know if the error message popped up on your side or not. 
Vashti. Uh, Amblemere sure has changed. What does Lucretia want with you? Listen, I've never met the woman. These people were strangers to me, same as you. Regardless, we can't let you just walk away from here. Clearly you're valuable to Lucretia for some reason. Bash, not so close. He could still be carrying some magic potion or card or something. What was that about a card? As much as I'd say it, he has to be put to death. <laughs> There's no telling what he could be capable of. Jesus fuck, Desmond. Refuse or accept Desmond's proposal to execute Fennec. No, bro. Like, bring it down a notch. Can't be serious, Des. Listen, I'm not happy about it either, but you know how much dark magic damaged my village. Magic reaps awful things in people. He can't be suffered to live. It's the law. Fucking ACAB, bro. Get out of here with that shit. The law. Please. Uh, I'm not going to put someone to death in the middle of the street like an animal. No, you're right. What did I ask you to? I'll take him outside the city limits. You can charter passage to left, and I'll meet you at the docks tomorrow. There's, there's, there is no world in which I'll allow that. <laughs> Give me a moment to think. Queen Venezia finds out if Wolf catches even a whiff of this. Fuck Wolf. We'll take him with us. Hmm? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, brutal. Right? This Desmond dude has got to go. Uh, we'll tie him up and take him with us. He'll be exiled like every other mage who's just escaped death. Vashti, listen to yourself. You're like a sympathizer for humans. Des, I will not kill a man without a trial, and I absolutely won't allow you to. It's not right, and the law provides another way. He's dangerous, Vash. I'm afraid of things. We're all dangerous. Nothing about this life is safe. But I won't be cruel. Uh, we don't know this man any more than any of the other than any other stranger, so we're taking him with us, and that's that. Yeah, that's right. You fucking tell that dude. You live out your life as an exile and left. It's mercy, I assure you. What? No, no, you can't do that. I haven't done anything wrong. You have. The moment you stole magical artifacts, you obtained a death sentence. Trust me, this is better. We'll gag him, and then tomorrow morning we set sail. God damn. Yeah, Desmond kind of sucks so far. I don't know if he's intentionally going to always suck, or if there's a turning moment, but... Let's see, you can now accept contracts from the tavern. Contracts are short, often battle-only missions, with unique items and rewards found in the world map uh, with the Wi-Fi symbol. Uh, a finite amount will unlock after a key story mission, so check the tavern often. But, like, first he's whining about this place is dark and scary, oh no, and then he's like, we gotta fucking kill this mage. It's the law. Like, come on, dude. Stop sucking, bro. That's all I'm saying. Alright, so I'm going to save. I'm actually going to run an uh, ad while I'm stepping away, so we're at 2 hours and 3 minutes of game time. Um, I will be streaming until 10 p.m., so we have another hour and 15 minutes, but I do need to take a break to uh, feed my fluffy void, my black cat, uh, and my black and white cat as well. So both the void and the moo uh, require sustenance. So I will feed my cats, and I will be back afterwards. Until then, I guess enjoy the music, and I'll see you on the other side.
All right, I'm back, and and once again, I was looking for my controller because I'm not used to playing this mouse to keyboard thing, but whatever. Um, I'll shut up about that. But cats have food. It's going in their faces, so we're good to go. Cats are happy. All right, so let us continue. Do, 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 do. What do we got? So troop management. Get in here, do some skill trees. Don't love Arrow Rain. These all cost multiple points. So I think I might hold off on Archer so I can get a couple more skills before I start going into there. Skill tree, so Santiago, what do we got going here? I do wonder how long this game is going to end up running because like, my skill trees are going up pretty quick here. I mean, this seems like an obvious one to keep leveling up my fire damage. Skill, skill tree. What do we got? So she's got one point. Throw in another one for her, my attack to go up again. Does she just keep on thwacking things hard? There ain't nothing wrong with a big beatdown sword. Same thing for him. Don't need to get fancy, just need to jam a sword through their face. Skill, skill tree. Alright, so his attack with his bow can go up. Right now I have pinning shot. Vital shot, which will lower their speed. Oh, it lowers my speed by 50%. By two. Yeah, no thank you. Shrapnel hits the target and everything around it receives splash damage. Critical chance goes up each time they're hit. Reducing move by one. 
like gain plus three attack. So I'm going to maybe do that one. Ugh, I don't know. He's up to three points though, so I got some. Let's see if I got any big costs. No, 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 no. One, one. There's nothing that costs a ton. I can get one of the twos for a dousing arrow. I don't know what coating something in water would be. What's that? I why that would be good. Ice damage, inflict slow. Sh oh, there you go. Inflict slow status against foes with what status? Okay. Uh, inflicts burning status against enemies with noxious. So, if I get fire arrows, that'll be a good file for noxious. So, I'll hit him with that. Hold it against burning or fire element foes. Okay, cool. So there's a little bit of rock, paper, scissors with the elements. Good to know. Um, then I'll throw the other one into crossbow doing more damage. Ah, there's my boy Matisse. What's up? Alright, so Matisse, let us get you some more stuff going on here. Saps SP from ground, increasing max X SP plus 5. That might be worth it so I can do more healing and stuff. Oh, field medic increases potency of all skills that use herbal materials on the field medic tree by 10%. So that means I can get a little bit more boost to the heals that I'm doing. Nullifying status effects, positive and negative, non self inflicted. Two, and then healing surprise when hit. Regen status. Hmm. I kind of like the. I'm going to go with the. Um, Saps SP from the ground, increasing plus five while equipped. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. An extra five SP could be pretty beneficial. So let me go ahead and set that before I forget about it. So that way, SP, I can do another heal, basically. And then, yeah, you're... Like, I, I almost wish I could just kick you out the group, because I'm never going to use you. Sorry. Sorry, Esmer. Right. So let us continue down, I think. I wonder if I can get into random battles. I assume you have to be able to, right? Let's see if I go back here, go to the tavern. Use your bombs! I have been using my bombs, Pocky. My apothecaries make explosions, it's fantastic. So contracts. Magic most foul. So I will get 42 in a sword or 6,000 in a chest. Five goons walk into a bar. So a magic most foul. What is this? A mother came to me several days ago, weeping for her son, a man like many others, who uh, went astray to the east. Good evening, uh, properly, by the way, Pocky. See, apparently he has gathered people to his cause, with all with ill intent. They have been spotted in wait near some ruins. We can hunt them down. She has provided a small reward. It's sad when a mother must do such a thing to her flesh and blood, but such are the times we live in. Yeah, ooh. Interesting, so it's not just jump on it. Okay. So five goons. There's a bounty on the heads of five cut purses who attacked and robbed a woman uh, in the Ambulier Tavern. Rather foolish of them, given she's the mistress of a powerful tradesman shipping vagrants over the ocean. Uh, he handsomely paying anyone, sorry, he's handsomely paying anyone who will bring them to justice in gold and maybe a dash of respect. Chatter, chatter, chatter. The left monastery, what do we know about this place? One thing can say, the monks are, are friendly. Don't get me wrong, left monastery is quite pleasant, but what else can you expect of a prison? That's truly what the place has become. Sure, there's talk of religion. The three weavers who spin, measure, and cut Arcadia from cloth, dictating the days of all who dwell here. But what of it? Left Monastery is a cage, nothing more. The brand. To 
be sure there have been men who have tried to leave, laugh, and many succeed. There's a tacit agreement between all who, all those who haunt that place. Escape means death. It's a dangerous place surrounded by crags, and the land has sourced from some ancient. Uh, sorry, the land has soured from some ancient catastrophe. But when you enter, you're marked. To be caught outside is worse than what Earth can do to you. Everyone, and I do mean everyone, who knows what it what is to be done with those with the brand of Left Monastery. Say mercy to kill such men. Remember that, and do not suffer one to live outside that place. Jesus, okay. Do a heck of a job with world building in this. Like, I'm scared to go places. Alright. Oh, so see, now I've got the Wi-Fi signal out of the pin, so that means there is a subquest there for me. Hi, Goya. So let me see, let me go to the item shop. Outfitter, do you have any new gear? Oh, I can get a linen cap to up my HP for my, my bowman. I will purchase, thank you. Warm answer, what can I buy for you? To smiter, let's get some light out. Yeah, nothing to do. Okay. That does not look like there's a whole lot new, but a couple of different head items for my softer people. Show, give him this helmet. I haven't used you, uh, Ada. I should probably have some more, more better goods on you. I'll give you that. Okay, good. So I spent a thousand with you. Let's go over here. Matisse, my boy. Good hammer. Nothing better, nothing better. And, okay, so you're good. And I don't ever plan on using the Osmar, so not to be a dick, but you will continue to live your life with a wood sword. Sorry, not sorry. And that is it for the Outfitter. Okay, good job. Good job, everyone. Good job, indeed. So, weight ruins. Magic most foul. Let us see... Dun, 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 dun. What this looks like. Dist. Well, Esmer is the same class as these two, who are the heroes, Desmond and uh, Vashti. Who I don't really like Desmond, but whatever. So it's the same class as those two, so I'm never going to use a generic soldier in battle over the two main characters. So, it's just... Sorry. Ain't going to happen. So let's see what this... Oh, I've been here. Yes, okay. So this is a side quest, or a... Oh, uh, charter? Shit, I already forget what the term was. Contract, my bad. Charter? Of like a fucking boat? Come on, Chris. Alright, so we'll drop you here. Um, put you up here too, because you're a crossbow. And down here we will have our swords or swordsers. Your swordser, so you can go down here. Ah, shit. Actually, so this is where it gets tough. So I can't bring everyone that I did. So I'll bring, I have to bring my cleric. Matisse is my boy. He makes people live. Live, goddammit. Nah, I feel like he should be down there. Alright, so I'll put Matisse down there. So who is my last person? I guess, I guess Vashi's sitting this one out. We'll bring Santiago the War Mage. All right, so let us commence this way. Late to the party, how does this differ from Final Fantasy Tactics? Well, this was not made in 1997, or released in 1997. This was released in 2023. Made by a brother-sister development team. Um, over the course of several years. Her primarily handling all the 
pixel art, I believe, and story. Uh, they collaborated on the story, and he was primarily behind all the programming. But they are fans of Final Fantasy Tactics. How it differs is it moves a lot faster. Things are a lot more brutal. Like, for example, this enemy can take effectively like two and a half hits, and then they're dead. Uh, there are not 23 jog classes, at least not yet, so we'll see. Um, but I mean, yes, it's a tactics game, so it's gonna, uh, offer a lot of similar experiences, much like every tactics game at this point. So 50% chance of limp, fire arrow, let's try basic attack. Ooh, nice, that'll kill them. Ah, crossbow takes time to charge, though. Um, the music is Battle Jazz, so that's definitely different than Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, there's no... There's... God damn it, he got healed. <laughs> At face value, it looks like basically the same game. I mean, yes, in so much of the same way that Final Fantasy... You know, four, five, six are the same thing as Sea of Stars or Chained Echoes or Chrono Trigger. Um, as in, they're all RPGs, so therefore the same game. But then there's the whole aspect of, like, the game and the story and all of that that is different. The main music. Uh, Epic Sex guy got a hold of this game. <laughs> yes, thank you, Valsu. That was the other thing, is the music is dramatically different. It is a whole nother world. This sexy battle time. Uh, and I have a flame wall. Or I can hit him with a fireball. And I can play with a mouse. I was not able to do that with Final Fantasy Tactics. And I've heard them say bastard, so that's also different. I'm not used to there being any swearing. Body rush, 47 damage. That should kill you. Oh, how long until you go, though? Shit. Oh, fuck. Well, I wasted that attack. Fuck. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the type of uh, material where you read the articles for. Yes. Alright, let me move you some more. Hopefully you stay at the side of range. Um, facing a certain way will change. If they attack your flank or your back, it's uh, more damage, so... Which, I haven't been getting hit with a whole lot of melee, so that's... It hasn't been a huge sticking point yet, but imagine later I'm going to run in situations where I'm getting attacked with more melee than I am uh, other stuff. So, Noxious Arrows. Shit. Main shots. Can I hit anything? Yes. So, let me see. They are Apothecary. They are Warmancer. Let me try and hit them and pin them down. and some magic. But no, Pocky, uh, for... God fucking damn it. Um, it is very much wearing on its sleeve their appreciation for Final Fantasy Tactics, so... Yeah, on the surface, it is very, very similar. Alright, so my healer... Um, I have no way to regain SP, which is also... Does that have class progression like Final Fantasy Tactics or which... Dude, I really wish I knew. I am about two hours into the game, and it's still uh, rolling out a lot of very early game stuff. And my guess is that there will be some level of progression. Um, I don't remember how many classes are expected in the game, but currently I only have access to, I think, like, four? 
Uh, and I know that there's going to be more. I just don't know if it's just different unlocks or, you know, um, Cavalier turns into Knight. Not sure yet, but definitely have not gotten uh, that far yet. My characters are like level f level six right now. But it's got, you know, your, your attack skill, support skill, reaction skill, move skills. Um, so it's got some mix and match going. But, like, I don't have... The closest thing I have to a white mage right now is an apothecary, so... Um, I think I will heal. Yeah, we'll just do a direct... Healing or storing flask. So I will toss that at the back of his head and heal him. They're healative cocktails. My war mancer, he makes fire. Ugh, he only does 25. Alright, so right now, for example, this guy, if I face him, or face down with my fireball is 25. Let's see if I do a side fireball, if it does more. No, still the same. So it looks like it's only going to be physical attacks that are higher from the flank. Fucking potions of people's heads to heal. Yes. Healative cocktails. Ah, shit. Cool, they're grounded. And you're lightninged. God bless it. They're magicking me all over the place. So, Aiden is at full health. You should do something about that. Basic attack. So, okay, so. Got no! You fucker. I wanted to look at how much damage it was. Anyways. Well, I can't undo that. I fucked that one up. Fuck it. You go over here. You're punished. You attack too fast. Let's see, action. Can I kill you? 48? No, I cannot. Um, arrow range. Oh. Can arrow rain nobody? Okay. Forty-three can't kill you. I probably could kill you if I move closer. Let's see if I go here. If that'll be enough. Yes. Forty-four. Cool. Let's do it. Two percent chance to miss. Dead. Now, this is a very chill time, though. Uh, I will say that part feels different from Final Fantasy Tactics, is that I don't feel stressed in battle. I feel like I'm clicking around and having a good time. The music probably helps with that. You better heal yourself. I hope that's enough, buddy. Uh, Alright, so you need to heal. So you've got 58. What are you at? You're full. You're full. You're fine. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna throw a heal potion up there. There you go. Right in the face. Uh, it does and it doesn't feel like battle music. Like, I get where you're coming from, but I'm good with it. It's not super aggressive battle music, but it doesn't need to be. Because this is like battle chess. If it was an action game, yes, this would feel very out of place. Ooh. 
you will die. God, that's such an overkill. Um, let's see, what are you at? You're at 20 and you're the, the healer, so I think I want to go take you out. Because I'm tired of you healing people. thing I can do. I can't turn the level. I can hit tab to, to back out. I want a higher view of the field to see what's going on. So, cross, I don't know if it's the crossbow or if it's Poncho, the raccoon with a knife uh, that I'm playing. But, like, whenever I do their attack, there's a charge period with it. That's kind of annoying. Like, it's fine... I make do now that I understand it shows you when the attack lands on the bottom so you can see him in his, you know, hunched over position. But the first time I didn't realize. So, like, now I can see he's going to attack before they finish Valeria casting their magic. But there isn't a clear number that says, oh, this takes three rounds or something like that. So my guess is that there's a value that's associated with it and, you know, whether time's up or time's out at the on-time... TBD, but I do like the art direction of the character portraits. Yeah, I like... I think the art is fantastic, even, like, from the, the pixel art standpoint. Like, the characters look nice. Um, and it definitely has its own feel. Like, that, their faces actually animate enough to show emotions, which is pretty cool. Like, during some of the cutscenes so far, it's been nice to see them either, you know, smile or blush or just whatever. Ooh, I need to get you over there is what I need to do. Because I have not had anyone die in battle yet, and I assume that they'll be fine. But I'd rather not find out the hard way. So we'll throw a restoring flask. No. Healing mist. We'll throw it here. And that's an AE heal, so if there's someone else over there, they would have gotten it too. Alright, so here we go. So we can confirm now. So basic attack. Hitting them head-on would be 41 damage. See what a, a execution would look like. Basic attack, 40. No, so it's the same thing. I think maybe it ups the hit percentage then? I might have misread that earlier. Like maybe it bypassed. Yeah, so right now the hit percentage is 98%, so it's a pretty easy hit. But um, so when I was behind them, I had a 100% uh, chance. So it ups the, um, the two hit, if you will. See, he didn't mean didn't like the other graphics. Gotcha. And you're down, and that's the round, right? Yeah. Contract complete. So this is actually, in my brain, like the perfect portable game right now. Return to the Tavern to Collect Rewards. Um, and I got it because it plays... Well, one, I backed it forever ago, but two, um, I was excited to grab it because it should work on Steam Deck pretty well. Uh, this is like the perfect kind of goof around before bed. Probably classes later take uh, advantage of back attacks. Probably. Do, 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 recruiter. So I want to go to the tavern to turn in my contract. Report. Magic most foul. Mother came to me several days ago, so this is just re recapping what it was. Hunt them down and she'll provide a small reward. So turn in the contract, and I will get a birch bow and a power ring. Dun. Done. Chatter if I want some more information about the world, and there are no new contracts. <laughs> Should. <laughs> well, I mean, if you look at where I'm at in this game so far, like, there's so much I have not done yet. Like, I literally have four spots on the map I can go to. Um, I'm in the middle of chapter one of how many chapters, I don't know. Uh, what I'm liking about Crisis Core, if I'm not 
See, if I'm not going to have time to dig into the game, I can do a quick mission or two from the save point. Yes. Yeah, and that's kind of like that, you know, mission I just did was, what, seven minutes? It seemed like they went pretty damn quick. So, oh, there's a tavern at here. Oh, I didn't know that. And there's an item shop. Hey, Mr. Bearded Dragon. So you do not have anything new there, there, or there. Okay. So I wonder if the shops all have a shared um, inventory. And it depends on where you're at in the story as to what you have access to. Uh, crit percent, cast percent. Oh, okay. You buy all that man's goods now? I have bought all that man's goods. I actually have too many goods now. Okay, I don't need this birch bow, so, so. Penny saved and pennies earned. I'm working towards the achievement of earning 50k. Shop music is good. Like, I could shop here all day. This wouldn't rush me out of your store. I'd be like, hey, let me try that on again. And no, I'm not flirting with you. I'm not looking for you to hang around while I undress. I'm just saying. Power ring. Specialized shops and games uh, like this are annoying. <laughs> yeah, having to, yeah. Actually, that's a good point. Having to, like, cross, like, nine different areas, potentially getting into random encounters uh, to get to a shop just to check to see if it has anything different in it would kind of get, eh. Um, but we'll see. That little chirping hoppy gave you. No, he is fantastic. I was... I don't know where I was a bearded dragon until Beachy had corrected me. I just said he was some kind of lizard man. Mm, all right. So let's see. So it is 9.21, so I'm going until 10 o'clock, so I have another 40 minutes until I'm calling it. So I'm going to advance into another story mission. Ooh, yeah, we're going to... Oh, a cutscene, even. It's not even a mission. So that's something I do appreciate about it, is that... When you click on the red dots, those are the advancement of the story. It actually tells you what's going on at the event. So this one says, Wolf and Venezia uh, have a serious conversation about Dantelion's future. Versus previously, when I go there, it'd say cutscene plus battle. So I know I can go into this without worrying about, you know, am I prepared or not. Dun, 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 dun. Loading. Creating fantasy. Boop. Sorry, Goya got booped. Dantelion Throne Room. No, it's the Shredder. Oh no, it's just Wolf. Give us the room. Yes, sir. Queen Venestra. That was her name. I was trying to remember from Mice and Mystics what the queen's name was because the story was reminding me of that where she kills off her husband. But Queen Venezia versus Queen Venestra. That's what it was. Just say it, Beowulf. I'm lonely. He passed. My king, my husband. What a horrible end to such a magnificent man. True leader of men. And yet, you never truly liked him. I respected him, pretending that more wouldn't serve you or I. It's weird phrasing. No, I suppose it wouldn't. 
something important to ask you. Name it. We've a possible lead to Lucretia's whereabouts. And you'd like me to follow it? No, Vashti and Desmond can see to that. Simply deliver the message and ensure they've delivered Annalise over. I need for you for more pressing matters here afterwards. Of course, I'll see to it. Oh, and did you hear back on the vial of liquid? Mm. Yes. And... And then, and then, and then. As suspected, Adirot poison. Wolf? Did you... Oh, shit. Tell me something. Did you ever truly love him? Wow, I probably missed that very important blue text because I double-clicked. What would you have me say? I believe I did. Once. Then what difference does it make? He's dead and you have work to do. 924. I'll have to go back and check that out because I'm sure that was very important vital story information that I just double click right through. Ah, the Cairn Monastery, which is another cutscene. Group arrives in Cairn Monastery. Uh, the end of the road for some, the beginning for others. Give me your paw, Goya. Sorry, my PC is not normally a gaming PC, so I'm not surprised that this goes at the speed that it goes. <laughs> the story is probably more war crimes. Uh, you're probably not wrong. Just, just to check in on what's going on with the Goya, for those that are curious, uh, he is right here, which is right next to my keyboard. So, And that's him pawing me because he just wants my attention. But he's a good fluff. Very patient. He understands that it is gaming time. Although he cannot hear the smooth jazz, he feels it in his heart. All the same. He's not deaf or anything, it's just uh, it's in my ears, so he can't hear it. But let's continue, Goya. Let's, let's learn of more war crimes. Don't squish, but boop the cat. <laughs> boop, boop. We can get a little live boop boop. The nose is extremely sensitive though, so his boops I gotta gently boop, because otherwise he'll be upset. But even then he seems slightly annoyed that I'm booping his face. Slightly annoyed with booping the cat. <laughs> yeah, sorry I'm an asshole, Goya. Yeah. Alright. See, uh, they'll be taken care of. You have my word on that. We busy ourselves with fulfilling uh, sacred and sacred with fulfilling and sacred work here and really bad haircuts calm minds calm spirits calm hands we say the mage could be quite dangerous i'd keep soldiers on him everyone hydrate because we're right by a well too so jam your face right in there cheers everyone have some drinks some h2o's or whatever suits your fancy Uh, I am imbibing in the waters. <sighs> Alright. Good hydration break. Thank you, Beachy. See, that would be difficult, Mr. Rhines. We have no soldiers here. No need for such things, you understand? Not sure that I do, because I am a fucking loser. Alright, the brand will see to that. It is sufficient, I assure you. Oh, well, thankfully, I read what that is, so I'm not entirely surprised. Uh, the two shall find things quite easy here. Plenty of time for meditation and contemplation on their unworthier pursuits. <gasps> the Shredder! Thank you. We trust you'll take good care of them both. She has seen... Oh, sorry. She has been turned over, then. Yes. <laughs> we don't do war crimes here. Yeah, they do was fucking like, let's execute right now. Oh, no, that's too cruel. I'll take him outside the city and I'll execute him. Like, what the fuck, dude? Just moments ago. 
Well done, the queen will be pleased to hear of it. We received word of King Tyrigan on the way. Annalise was understandably stricken by the news. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, I can imagine her wailing was quite dramatic, but she's uh, better. But better she's here than dead now that Queen Venezia has the throne. Will she be able to leave? Well, perhaps once Lucretia has been dealt with, which reminds me. There's a high-level recruiter for Lucretia's cause rumored to be in the town just south of here called Lograham. Uh, he's particularly interested in mages, though I'm not sure a wide variety of vagrants will be... Blah, 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 blah. Though I'm sure a wide variety of vagrants will be about. You may take a day or two to recover from the journey, but go south and investigate after. We need the man alive if we're going to interrogate him for information. I cannot stress this enough. Of course. I'll be here a day or so if I can find a tavern worth its salt. But after that, I must return to Dantelion. She'll handle things from here. Oh, didn't, you didn't by chance encounter a mage of some sort on the journey over. A man's slightly shorter uh, side, I'm told. It said Lucretia was especially interested in him. You fucker, Desmond. I swear to God. <sighs> yeah, the dudes in this game are the worst. Especially fucking Desmond. We did encounter so unfitting that description around Am Amblemere. We thought it best to... We executed him. Yes, Vashti! With a few other mages after a poor ambush attempt. He was clearly dangerous. We couldn't risk him getting away. Exemplars are the cause of all that. Well, if it's as you say, I'll leave you to some much-needed recuperation. Now I see why she fucking left him. She goes to the other side. Like, Desmond's kind of a bitch. I don't want him to live right now. You better have some, like, healer re redemption arc at some point. Bro is killing me. Like, if you were to catch a stray arrow to the eyeball, I'd be okay with it right now. Solemn. Solemn Heath. Let's go back to the monastery. I forgot that. Item shop recruiter. Tavern. <laughs> this marriage is doomed. Yeah, because he sucks, and she actually has values? Yes. So, no contracts here. Chatter is the same. Okay. So, it looks like all the, um... Whatchamacallit? All the places I'm gonna go to will have the same stuff. Which is convenient. Like, I don't have to worry about hitting every single city to pull out every little detail of every little thing. If I just hit a city... Although I'm very bad at clicking on them. So then just double check. So I don't shop. <laughs> yes, lizard. Uh oh, indeed. Yeah, okay, cool. So I wonder if they'll inform me whenever there's upgrades available or if I just gotta pop in every now and then. Oh. Well, apparently they do not inform me, I've just learned. No, they do not. Okay, cool. So I guess that answered that question should recruit more raccoons. Um, I wish I could, but that was a unique scenario where the raccoon licked a magical liquid and then that raccoon became shanky. Like, he immediately had a knife with him and then started shanking things, so. I just realized what it is. Music is making me think, uh, inside the shop at least, is making me think Toe Jam and Earl. And I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm 1000% okay with it. I feel like I should give Desmond worse armor. That way he'll die and take more hits. As he should. Maybe he'll learn to, you know, not be such a narc. Can't believe he's about to say like, oh yeah, we have that dude, he's right here. Increase the vest of my raccoon. But yeah, so, uh, 
Poncho was his name, and it, Poncho was one of a kind. I haven't really used Ada, but I, I feel like story characters should always be ready for a battle where I'm not allowed to change them out, so I like to keep her upgraded. Yeah, sorry, Esmer, you don't get shit. But I did poke around through the recruiter for a minute, and I didn't see anything outside the norm, as far as other races or anything. Ow. Eris? Excuse me? I don't think that's that's appropriate. Alright, Cavalier, Kryn, Ezraelin, Kayla, Talus... Contest. Yeah, see, like, right now, it's just basically giving me, like, the same four or five classes. So it's going to open up at some point. I just don't know if it's... I saw a cloud in there. If it's going to be evolutions or if it's just going to be uh, different options added. I don't know. So I think what I'm actually going to do... Uh, I think I'm going to keep playing this over the weekend. Uh, that way, when I play on Monday, I'll be later into the game, and we'll have more unlock to play with, and see a little bit more of the, the the further end of the game. So, I think that's what I'll end up doing. That way, so Monday night when we play, I don't know, can we get rid of Desmond? On the agenda, Apothecary evolves into Meth Lord. Jesus Christ, this is Breaking Bad. All right, but yeah, so this is what I was saying that like. The event info is a battle and a cutscene. Hire a replacement. I mean, I could just not bring him into battle, but unfortunately, he's going to keep talking during the cutscenes, and that's the part I like him the least. Like, if he was a silent protagonist, this is the first time I actually would welcome a silent protagonist to a game, so. Because I am ugh, with him talking it right now. So let me go ahead and save. I'm running ads for the last time tonight, uh, because then we should be able to ride out until. 10 o'clock just fine um, but I didn't want to go through those cutscenes again but we will go into the battle at uh, Longraham our heroes attempt to find one of Lucretia's recruiters and this battle should take us through uh, the end of the stream I don't think I'll have time for another battle afterwards but we'll see but I'm having a good time with this game I have zero regrets on uh, backing this back in 2014, 15, whenever it was. I think the Wii U was still still on the table at that point. Like, as a valid system that people were playing and or, at least on um, Kickstarter, were saying we will port to this and that. Mm -mm. Ah, two lovers walk into a bar. Okay, what exactly is the plan here? We need to get some information first, especially if this is the recruiter for Lucretia's cause. Oh no, I think they're going to go full uh, full Eric here. What was that, Goya? Uh, it's recruiter for Lucretia's cause, so no fighting. Best to avoid that. Great, let me handle this then. Do me a favor and don't say a word no matter what I do. Oh, fuck you. Excuse me, my good man. Are you in charge of this fine establishment? F fucking narc. You are clearly... Oh, come here, boy. Ugh. Calm down, buddy. Don't cut my throat again. You already got me pretty good the other day. Still not even sure if it's healed. Is this what you want? Is this what you're yelling for? Uh, and if you're watching the stream and you're like, man, this dude's got a lot of cat time going on. Well, uh, I live with my cats and they want attention. And specifically this one, if you've ever played Persona 5, how the cat yells at you to go to bed. That's what this guy does. He starts the stream by yelling at me, demanding all the attentions that the internet sees him. And then throughout the stream, he will yell at me for more attentions, more foods, second dinners. And then he yells at me when it's time to go to bed. And I think we're at that point of the night where he's like, bro, it's bedtime. It is bedtime. 
how much was the... Wait, what? Quite a long time. How much was the back? I am so lost. I don't know what I said. Feed my cats. My cats are well fed. And, and wait, am I the worst or is Goy the worst? I don't know if I should be offended or not. Anyways, 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 where am I at? And again, looking for my controller. I might catch on to that at some point. Oh, backed it on Kickstarter. Oh, fuck, bro. I have no idea. It was a lifetime ago. Uh, the game is 30 bucks on Steam, though. So, um, and they're, they are pressing a vinyl record. Actually, looking for someone. Shit, I didn't mean to click forward on that. Um, you actually had me curious about Kickstarter, because it was when it was and how much I pledged. And I forget if there are any extra items that I should be getting. Because it was a long time ago. So I might have pledged at a higher level to get additional stuff, like a cloth map, I think, might have been on the agenda. Dun, 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 dun. You've got me curious now, so... I know this makes for a fantastic stream, uh, but now it's bugging me and I gotta know. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Well, we can enjoy the joyous musics together, though, so it's all good. If I remember my login for Kickstarter, Jesus Christ, it's been forever. Alright, so, Inner Realm's Journey, Experience the Power of Meditation, and Discover Your Avatar? No. I'm not backing anything else. So, back projects. Let me see all of my back projects. Keep track. Adultish, PS3, Yoshitaka, Mono, nope, 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 nope. Stonebound Saga, which is that board game that I do not have anymore. Uh, Shovel Knight was the first thing I backed, so that was a lifetime ago. Double Fine's Massive Chalice, which I never played. Soul Saga, which was garbage. Phoenix, Project Phoenix, which I don't think that ever came out. I'm going to have to follow up on that afterwards. Moon Hunters, they come out. It's kind of a fun game. Okay, Arcadian Atlas. So I backed it for $55, which will ship me a cloth map, buttons, plus digital manual. And with an estimated delivery date of August 2018. So it may have been a minute. Um, so this was... Sorry, February 2018 was the expected due date. So yeah, so I'm expecting a cloth map at some point. Two buttons with characters from the game. Um, which I don't remember what I picked for characters. Yeah, so this was... This has been a minute. So when was their first update? Dun, dun, dun. But I'm just happy to see it come to fruition. And more importantly, so here's the thing. So there's been a couple things I've backed on here that absolutely... Um, advertised one thing when they started, but over the course of development, they got bored with what they were making. They completely changed the game, and it pissed me off so much because... In their mind, it was like, well, you know, you're backing, you know, my ambition, and my ambitions changed. It's like, no, dude, I was backing what you sold as a classic throwback PS1 RPG, and what you shipped out is none of those things. So, all right, so update number 14, 13, 12, 1. Wow, when are we going back? So, we're back to 2016. Um, let's see, is that the first? So, okay, so the I kickstarted it back in April of 2016, and one of the systems it advertised at the time was coming to Vita. So, times have changed a little bit. And that might have been one of the reasons why I backed it, because I was big on Vita at that time. So, yeah, it's been a minute. Ah, oh, just tell us your password. We'll all log in, take a look. I didn't even know what my password was. I had figured that out. Desmond is absolutely the worst. I'm ready for this guy to not exist. Um, hopefully not Desmond. If they offer an OST for this game, uh, you have to get it. Yes, they. Uh, <laughs> I would demand your Vita copy. Um, they do actually have it on vinyl. They uh, they've already put it up. I think it was forty bucks for. The double LP, and I've already ordered that. I think it ships in February, so um, I definitely jumped on that. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, actually, we're looking for someone. 
This here is my dear sister, Carmella. Now, now, don't try to speak, Carmella. You remember what happened last time. <laughs> Poor thing is mute. Uh, as a milk jug, after one of my, well, let's just call it a special incantation, <laughs> went horribly wrong. Uh, no, February 2024. 20, Sir, you're funny. Right. And how exactly am I supposed to help you there, Mr... Nathaniel Horndrops is the name. Hailing from the fine folk of Hammerlund. Real salt of the earth types, they call us. At least, they did. For you see, ever since we both were caught using some, let's call them, unsavory magics, our kin chased us away. That's a real shame. Arlen, mayhaps these two uh, could be interested in some of your specialty contracts for the Belneve girl. Belneve, that's Lucretia. You best keep your mouth shut, you hear me? Your accent, Mr. Horndrops. It's interesting uh, for the Hammerland area, isn't it? Not much consistency in it. Well, haven't moseyed on back there in a few years, I reckon. Been traveling in lots of shady, magical-type places since then. You understand, accent has probably changed on me since. <laughs> see, like, I like the sprite work. You can see that guy have some doubt. Magical-type places, sure, sure. And your name again, miss? What was it? Uh, canola? Lock the door, boys. Ah, oh, hell, you weren't supposed to talk. Don't blame me. Your accent has been unplaceable since we've walked in. Reach for your weapons already and make sure this Harlan doesn't get killed. Ugh. What a bunch of maroons. Um, but yeah, sorry, Pocky, I mentioned earlier, so it was... The Kickstarter project, and it was indie with the brother sister duo uh, Twin Otter Studios for the first, I don't know, up until 20, so first five years they were working on it. Um, and then, like in 2021, they got they paired up with a publisher, Serenity Forge. Um, so, Serenity Forge helped, you know, get them over the finish line, but they're also handling a lot of the marketing, and they are the ones that are doing the vinyl record, uh, which I've gotten other, I can't remember which ones, but. I have ordered vinyl records from Serenity Forge before, so they will actually deliver um, on it being in February and not just me hoping one day to eventually get it. But Let's see, so two vinyl LP. Oh, it's actually $37. Um, what soundtrack did I get? They did Art of Rally, Death's Gambit. They've got a few of them, so I don't know. Not going to get caught up in that right now. Let us get back to the game. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so we will commence our fight. So let us bring who we bring. It feels weird bringing an archer into a tavern, but maybe I will sub her out. I'm definitely keeping my warm answer because this bro is... Santiago is awesome. I like Santiago. Hey! Fuck, all right, so I think... <laughs> that was adorable. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Um, fuck, alright. I think I'm going to remove my archer because I do want to bring in Matisse. So he can continue to heal me because Matisse has been pretty good with that. Alright, so I think this is... Fuck, I didn't level anyone up before this. Ah, well. Let's see what happens. Let us carry on. Defeat all enemies. Harlan must not skull Permadie. Okay, so I can knock him down. I'll be fine. My friend is an alchemist. Let's see if I can pin him down back there. Mm. 
No, not ice magics. Oh, what? Are they trying to kill Harlan too? Am I gonna recruit Harlan? Ah, oh, shit, I'm gonna have to keep him alive. That was unexpected. See, Harlan, we're not all bad. Why are they trying to execute him? Oh, yes, I'm gonna fucking burn you guys down to the ground. Actually, kind of surprised. Wait, what? No. That. Sorry, I was gonna say. I'm kind of surprised that they showed them at just like level six. I mean, granted, I think I'm level seven, eight, but I expected the story that they would just have them higher. They they did not get pinned. Ooh, but he did get a critical hit, so that's cool. Fuck, I don't know who I targeted for the fire damage. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, alright, so what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm gonna jump on the bed. Actually, that's what I'll do. I will... Can I do the shield action? Yes. Except I don't want to include the enemy, and I don't know if it would or not. Hunker now protecting Cavalier and all allies in a tile. But plus 20 evasion. Okay, that's cool. to get in there and cleave my man Desmond pretend that you aren't over here shouting blue lives matter bro I need you to get in here and do some damage that is not gonna do damage body rush oh, okay basic attack it is Shit, I did not just my bad. Oh well. I'm going to move you over here because I want you to heal. Oh, we'll do that. I was gonna get the spot to heal. Ah fuck. So how much healing mess is a medium, so let me do that. So who else got hit? Is it just my raccoon? Just, um, not Pocky, uh, Poncho? Ooh, Poncho's fucked. Actually, you're all pretty fucked right now. Jesus. Cheese Louise. Alright, let me do this action. Healing mess. Can I hit? Ugh. Y'all are just slightly misaligned. Oh well. Wait, how am 
much health? No, stop, stop. How much do you have? 51, 24. I wonder if I can stop them before they cast. Action, base attack, 47, that's not enough. Fireball, not enough. Ring wall. God damn it. Well, I can hope for a critical hit on him. And that's about all I got. Or her, my bad. Whatever. Alright, so you were poisoned? Is that what Noxious does? Oh, fuck off. Through the wall. No! God damn. This is gonna be a tight battle. And things just got worse. Ugh. Alright, well, I'm going to move and kill her. Because I need to make some people dead. Alright, you wait. Fucking Desmond has no damage, because of course he doesn't. So we should kill this person. Good. Fucker. That's what I'm saying. I like Desmond in battle. Guy's not bad. Hey, mister, that I'm saving your life. You probably want to, I don't know, work with us? Because that'd be cool. Alright, let me do a reviving flask. This is my first time doing this. I probably should have hit him with fire. I was thinking that my fire had to come from Poncho, uh, this guy over here, since he's already noxious. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I got too, too click happy. Oh, whatever. No takesies, backsies. And they killed my raccoon again. Fuck. battle is not going good. Alright. You are in a horrible spot, my friend. I need you to get over here and do some damage. Alright, you need to heal all of us like right now. <laughs> Desmond. Uh, I absolutely blame Desmond. I'm sorry, I wanted to resurrect Poncho, but I'd much rather heal four people. Alright, let me get my warm answer over here. This, this dude knows how to wreck shit. So 35, and what is flame? 28. Okay, so that's always gonna be less. Alright, so let's get in here with some fire. Let me guess, you're gonna heal yourself. Splashing that shit all over yourself, huh? I forgot that was one of them. Fuck me, what was I doing? Ugh, for some reason I was thinking that was one of mine. Oh shit, I can only do one reviving flask. Fuck, I did not know that. Ugh, okay, sorry. 
Uh, let's see, 38, 32. Desmond's at 140, of course he is. Desmond is the only one that has not taken any damage all round. What a team player. All right, so we'll do Healing Mist and get... Fuck. Well, now that I can't uh, res my raccoon, I'm a little bit scared. Because that means I need to kill these last two before that timer goes up. Come on, Warmancer, you have not let me down yet. Do not start. Ah, fuck. How much do you have? 24. Desmond, I swear to God, if you don't finish him off, I'm gonna... God damn it, he gets a turn. Shit! No, I've only got one more round. Oh, if Poncho dies, we riot. Fuck, this person's at full health. Ugh. It looks like we're going out on an L. Alright, what can I do here? So, a warm answer goes before they do, but they've got 53. That's not going to be enough. So Desmond has to get involved. Fuck. I was hoping I could send him over to the other person. I think, I think uh, my raccoon dies here. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, a little help back there, Harlan. Let me double check. Uh, I have no throwing flask. Fuck. Yes, I absolutely blame Desmond for this. 26. Please, raccoon, don't go, don't go, don't go. Uh, if Vashti gets to go, I might be able to pull this through. Come on, please let Vashti be next. Don't let my raccoon go. No! Poncho! Fucking Desmond. Right, Goya? It's all fucking Desmond's fault. Well, there you go. That's how. That's what happens when you lose. Fuck, I was one turn away. Vashti would have went in there and taken that thing out, that dude, lady, sir, I don't know what it was. Ah, oh, we would have had a win. Damn it, Goya. All right, well, that is it for tonight. Didn't want to go out on a loss, but zero stars for me or the game or for Goya. Or for Desmond. Desmond's absolutely zero stars. I'm actually going to go into Steam and leave a negative review stating Desmond is in this game. Until he's patched out, this is a zero star game. Isn't that right, Goya? Goya is very confused right now why I was crying out for Desmond. Or uh, for Poncho. But anyways, so... Oh, Alright, so that is the end of the stream. So, appreciate everyone for hanging out. Uh, appreciate, you know... Um, it, I don't know, I'm just dealing with uh, me failing us all. So, um, exit, because I'm judging myself. I know that not my usual type of game. Normally there's a little bit more active um, nonsense going on. Definitely there's usually a lot of nonsense going on. So, it is it is what it is. I appreciate everyone uh, playing this new experience with me, because I do enjoy it. And I do like the art and everything like that. Um how can the game be good if they allow the raccoon to die? It wasn't the game. It was me. It was all me. But, um, again, the game is Arcadian Atlas. It is available on Steam now for 30 bucks for normal price, but they have a launch for the next week, 15% uh, off, so I think it's like 26 bucks or something like that. 
Um, and yes, there is a vinyl soundtrack that is available that is coming out. So if you enjoy the music, you don't want to play the game, that's still available. I don't think it's out on CD or anything, but it might be on Spotify. Who knows? But And just because I want to show the intro, because I don't think this was uh, visible earlier because I started the game um, like mid-play. But So this is the game uh, by, what is it, Twin Otter Studios, published by Serenity Forge. Um, so I appreciate everyone for hanging out. Enjoy your evening. Take care of yourselves, and I'll be back on Monday for more of this, hopefully at a higher level, with an entire raccoon army. So uh, take care of yourselves. 